What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wings of Redemption. We're back with Painkill already. We're, we're we're giving shit away today. <laughs> what are we giving away, Kyle? Well, first we need to talk about our sponsor tonight. Because if the money's there, we just don't care. So tonight our sponsor is Corey. So Corey has a really good, uh, I joke, but Corey has a really nice uh, YouTube channel. The best YouTube the, channel, uh, some have the said. The best YouTube channel mm -hmm. on in the universe. We found it. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> Look no longer. This is mm -hmm. the one. Yep. It is the Overachiever's Guide to Games. Mm -hmm. Go over there and check that out. And he tells us, he, he's got a little note here. He wanted us to know that his, his dream job would be to get involved with uh, with Rooster Teeth and do some uh, video editing work with them, I guess. So if you're one of those guys or you know those guys or know how to get in touch with them, uh, let them know that Corey over at the Overachiever's Guide to Games is uh, very talented. They can look at his work over there, and he's interested in uh, interesting guy. Up with Rooster Chief. Yeah, yeah. He, he so he's been in Afghanistan. He's seen combat, and he's a video editor, not a combo yeah, you absolutely. see all the time. Yeah, so, he's a young guy. So he's and he's done all that. Yep. Wings is showing us the the combat action badge, which uh, yeah, so which Corey wings is wings not to be shown off. Shown up. His, <laughs> he has a he has a is, war veteran of his own. Oh, I see. I see. There's a dagger on the front. Uh, my yeah. brother, he has a purple heart and a combat action badge. He he caught a grenade in uh, Baghdad. Ooh! All right, yeah, this guy That's got awesome. his in Afghanistan. Corey did. So uh, so check his YouTube channel out. There'll be a link in the description. There'll be uh, an annotation on the side of the video, lest I screw up. And um, uh, and if you know Rooster Teeth or if you're from Rooster Rooster Teeth, take a look at his stuff and offer him a job. Absolutely, good stuff. Pay that man. Pay that so, man his money. Absolutely, all of it <laughs> and more. Kyle, so I, I finally did it. I, I finally uh, got the gaming channel going. Yes. Uh, what's, your, what's your URL, Kyle? It's uh, it's youtube.com slash FPS, just those three letters. And I uploaded a Call of Duty 4 live commentary today, and everybody seems to be liking it a lot. And that's the video I want to do my first giveaway from the Painkiller Already prize drawer. So <laughs> inside this drawer, I have assembled many items from my uh, from my home. Dude, people are asking me about the prize drawer all the time. I get people in on my Minecraft server like, I want to get something from Kyle's drawer. And I don't know what's in the drawer, but th let me ask you this. Do you have anything in the drawer that could kill someone? Yes. Do you have anything in the drawer that would facilitate the creation of new life? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> and, and prevent the facilitation of new life. Yeah, I, I I figured that too. <laughs> you could kill people, you could prevent people, and you could create people with the things in that drawer. There's a lot of stuff in here, and there's there's a lot of gaming stuff. There's a lot of like tech stuff. Uh, there's an iPhone five case in there. Um, bunch of games that I just didn't want. A few games that I don't play anymore, and a few games that White Boy left at my house like last year. So I'm just gonna give away some White Boy Seven Street stuff as well. I guess I got like he left that like he literally left like twenty or thirty of. Like White Boy Seven Street shirts at it's my like house. Giveaway exception, right? When you give away White Boy stuff. So, yeah, yeah, I'm giving away <laughs> White Boy shit. Like, 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 because, I, dude, what am I gonna do with twenty medium-sized, varying color White Boy Seven Street shirts? I have his whole catalog. I got them all. So I've also got a pair of his swim trunks that I have seen him swim in. They are gray. Uh, let's see what these are here. <laughs> They are they're gray Nike uh, swim trunks. They are uh, 34 waist, which doesn't make sense. They are White boy's a 34? A no, no, no. He had he had to buy he strikes them me as a 28 was... or something. That yeah, guy he's is... a little guy. He had to buy them when he was down here, so they were like massive size. But he has worn these, I promise. And I recently wore them. Just just letting you know. So I'm gonna be giving maybe maybe giving those away. I got some. Uh, You're not I got a lot of stuff money, in here. though, Kyle. No, no, completely unwashed. No. I don't know for a fact that they were washed after White Boy wore them. They come for true. free with Kyle and White Boy pubes. At prop, uh, you're going to get somebody out there with like a White Boy shrine going to need like the DNA hair strands. Uh-huh. They're going to go so, Jurassic Park on you too. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, how do we decide what from the drawer gets given away? And All right, so, so first of all, let me just say, post a comment on that video that says PKA, and I'm going to have a third party individual randomly select one of those comments. So on your uh, on your is it the Call of Duty 4 live commentary? Yeah, the Call of Duty 4 live com. Just post, post a, a comment that says PKA. And but but my question to you is how do I decide what to give away? Cuz I can't this isn't one of those things where I can just reach my hand and dig around. I'm I'm going to know I'm hey, do obviously this. Gonna know what I have. Do this, Kyle. You got a you got a you got a coin of some sort? Honestly, I can get one. What, what what's your idea? Well, open the drawer up, take the coin, toss it in the drawer, and the closest thing it lands to you give away. 
Oh, I could throw something in there. I don't really keep change. I usually throw it away. Let me see here. Yeah, he can't be bothered with change. There's, there's some it's doubloons somewhere, I think. Yeah. Kyle, do you <laughs> even keep singles? <laughs> you know, <laughs> have you seen that picture of, uh, uh, is it Jay-Z, like, holding, he's got, like, a lap full of hundreds yes. at a basketball game, and he's got the one, he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I know. He's like, how did 10 get in here, whatever it was. He's like, what the heck? Jay-Z right, so is seriously I, balling. I, oh, yeah. That, uh, ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. No. All right. So let, let, let me, how are we going to figure this out? Does anybody have any suggestions for how we should? Because I could throw something in there. I can do that. That's that's one option. Are there any other options? And and just, just reaching in and pulling something out is, is out because you'll know exactly what it is. Yeah, I'll know exactly what it is. Unless it's one of the DVDs or uh, video you could, games. You could, you could bring somebody in from your house and tell them to pick something randomly out the drawer for you. You could take the drawer, dump it into a pillowcase, shake it up, and have another person pick from the pillowcase like it was Halloween. <laughs> Halloween candy. I'm going to use the Wings of Redemption method. <laughs> I, and, and, and if you do that, it's a video in itself. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a big lighter in there and whichever... Whatever the silver tip of it is pointing to most directly, that is the prize. Oh, I didn't realize we were doing it right now. All right. We're doing it right now. I think you should shake up the drawer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, track. <laughs> Don't trust the condoms in that drawer anymore. Wait, I think I heard the lighter thump in there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to decide which of these two items it's most directly pointing at. I, I want the one to the right. Gunner, you get a used pair of Gunner Optics. Nice! Oh, man, those Not were bad. All, the, all the rage in 2010. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They are... Let me, let me clean the dust off. Let me see if they're scratched at all. Let me put these bad boys on. Holy shit, my eyes are super powered now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got some of those. Hold on a minute. So they are in... Better than average condition, I'll say. They're not perfect, but I They're think if you mint. use some lens cleaner, they will be they will get back to me. They don't have any big scratches. It's not like the kind they tried to give me where you, they actually had my glasses prescription in them. <laughs> yeah, actually, now that I've buffed it up a little bit, it looks almost perfect. So, I was yeah, like, I, I might want to keep these. I've got a thousand of these. So if you uh, if you want the gunner app, it's post a comment on the video, and... Uh, I'm going to choose one of those randomly, and then I'm going to message you privately on YouTube. So you'll need to check your messages um, right now. Pro uh, check your message in like six or eight hours. Mm -hmm. No, you'll I can't do that. I'll do the giveaway on uh, Monday. We'll, we'll, pick, we'll, we'll choose a prize Monday Eastern time, or a winner. Monday Eastern time is when I'll pick a winner, and I'll message you on YouTube. I don't have my gunner glasses anymore, but I have regular glasses. Do you guys want to see the glasses that I wear every blue moon? Yes. Yes. These are so old. I didn't know these existed. Yeah, I didn't know Woody had glasses. You know, I could be so rude, be like, yeah, put the glasses on Woody, and now ship that oh, guy's shit back to him. So what do you think, <laughs> sexy? Uh, obviously. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. Nah, They've got a lot of glare on them. But yeah, is, that, uh, is that actually glasses, like, for reading? Uh, yeah, it, there was a time when I was getting kind of a headache from looking at the monitor too long, and um, I got a prescription. It's not very strong, but... It helped somewhat. I, I don't know. For me, I have a tendency of, like, if the glasses aren't sitting way up at the top, then I'm not comfortable with that. And I can, like, do this sort of wiggle with my nose to make them sit there. But then they start squeezing and squeezing. And, and that was, like, maybe as bad as you the You know you can fatigue. get things that go on the back, though, right? Um, oh, to like hold I, them there? Yeah, yeah like I, used to work on, I used to work on a belt deck, and I would sweat a lot, so the glasses would roll down the face, and you push them back up. And if you do that enough during an eight-hour shift... Well, they have a hook, right? Yeah. No, a big, a more defined... No, 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 they're big, yeah. They're, like, they actually hook around your ear. Oh, no, 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 oh. no. What it is is, like, there are little things that hook on the things at the end, and you mm -hmm. tighten, like, you strap them to the back of your head. Oh, I've seen that as well, like a like an elastic... Old people type. wear them a lot. Yeah, they do. It's mm. it's not a very yeah, attractive AI style. Oh, they fit perfect. I'm old. <laughs> or you could just get you could get rec specs. Rec specs are the ultimate option if you want to look like um, basketball players from the late '80s, early '90s. Oh yeah, like that white guy from the Lakers. Uh huh. Kurt mm -hmm. Rambis is that his name? What's his name? I think so. I know there was a guy on the Chicago Bulls. What was his name? Who wore him all the time. Played with Mike Jordan. Singletary. He was oh, a football no. player. Okay. I'm sorry, you said that Bulls. was. Uh oh gosh, I'm gonna, I'll I'll look it up later, but yeah. Did Charles Oakley wear Horse Grant used to Knicks? wear something like that. Horse Grant, that was it. Good job, Wings. 
Nice Good job. Done. See, there not you a go. big basketball fan. I don't know any of that stuff. Like I know the Bulls because I watched I some of the Michael that Jordan that highlights. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle, did you have more to tell us about your channel? No, I think that's it. So, so you've, I, you've been I, uploading I, on a fairly regular basis. Yeah, I've done um, I've done almost one every day. And After making sk- everybody wait. Yeah, well, they had to wait. They had to wait till the time was right. I wanted to get all my shit together and do everything the way I wanted to do it. That's always the case. But I got um. So the first video was kind of like a, a mashup of a bunch of stuff where I explained mm-hmm. what I wanted to do, and the second one was the first part of a Fallout Let's Play, and then this last one was a, a really good COD Four live com I did. Yeah, you actually you absolutely killed it in that search and destroy. Like I was watching was, in awe. I was just like, okay, all right, that's really good. <laughs> that was a fun game. I love, ah, man. I just love Call of Duty Four so so much. We we need to do. I really wish we would do a Call of Duty Four day. I just don't know how to uh, like organize it. Yeah. Um, On PC, it's Call of Duty Four day every day because people are playing true. a lot. That's you true. Got to get used to the mouse and keyboard. That's hard. Oh no, mm. I could just plug my controller in, couldn't I? Do, I don't know if it has controller support. It might. I I don't know. Ooh. That's Some games do have controller support, others don't. Wings used yeah. to play COD on the PC with a controller. I just don't know if it was COD 4. I played yeah. Modern Warfare 2. Did you? Mm. Okay. Well, then so, it probably has controller support, at least partial, then. Yeah, I'll bet it does. I, I'll look it into it. It auto aim. Ah, uh, that sucks, though. And that makes a big difference. It does oh, my just... goodness. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I played COD Ghost at the event, like, I don't know, three weeks ago, something like that. And it had no auto aim because we basically put a controller on a PC, and that's how we played it. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I use the auto aim. Sometimes I just spray across guys back and forth and let the auto aim take care of the rest of it. And also, like, so I'm there, and it, it was like a tale of two cities. Like, there's a little pod that had recording software set up. And then there was the sea of, of places that you could play in addition to that pod. And when I went anywhere I wasn't recording, I was playing against gaming media. Gaming media cannot hang with YouTubers. Who cannot hang with pro gamers? And uh, so I go to the game, play against the gaming media, like the press and stuff. My, my kitty's like nine or something. It's ridiculous. I'm like crushing everyone. And I'm like, damn, God Ghost is for me. And then um, when it comes time to record... All of a sudden, it's me against, like, Rambo and Nadeshot or something like that. And it was the compl- – I'm, like, going, I don't know, 3 and 12. I'm like, God damn it. You know, it, <laughs> it was so hard to succeed in the recording area. Cause... And even when you do get a good uh, a good game for playing with those guys, you know, the public doesn't see it as a good game. Like, if you, if you go, like, you know, in a, in, a, in a TDM, if you go 15 and 12, you did a pretty good job You're playing against yeah, guys yeah. like that. And I, I, had a, I had one game where it was a legit good score. I went, like, 18 and 3. But in the other ones, yeah, like I would get like a nine and seven or something, and I'm like, no one appreciates this. Oh, and by the way, everybody's name was like player one, two, three, four, so they don't see me killing yeah. like optic nade shot or something like that. I'm just killing player three at best, <laughs> you know. They <laughs> so it was it was really hard to get footage. But anyway, the point was there was no auto aim, and I think one of the things I learned from that is I lean on the auto aim a lot more than say the pro players do. Those guys seem to hit their target even without it. So, so uh, I notice looking over there because Wings of Redemption is the big screen on my monitor. He's looking pretty sharp tonight. What's going he on, is. Wings? Well, you got plans tonight? What's going on? Oh no, 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 I'm looking. I'm looking fresh to death because I, I found what you call a master barber. I didn't realize that there were actually levels of people that do your hair. Like you go to like a great clips or something. You have like a basic cosmetologist girl there. Mm-hmm. That they can do like standard buzzes. They can do a little bit of hair. They can't really do perms. But it it kind of goes up, and like a master barber versus a regular barber means a master barber is able to shave you, and I mean like straight razor, old timey shave you, and it's great. Like he knows what he's doing 100%. He can tell you about your hair. Like if you see right here, like he's lined up my entire hairline with the straight razor, and it looks great. And it like matches the beard. The beard rolls into like a seamless thing. He knows what he's doing. Was it a black man or a white man? It was a white man. Okay, because, uh, you know, the style that you're rocking there, I think that a black barber, I would have thought that a black barber would have been, you know, the guy to line you. Because I've heard black people talk about, you know, getting their geometry right and, you know, getting everything lined up and stuff. And then, and then that's kind of what you're rocking there. It looks good, though. Uh, I did, mean, he, uh, did he touch up the beard, too? Did he... he did touch the beard. Like, you see the lines almost seamless, and, like, he's, mm-hmm. like, 
Well, your beard doesn't really have a chin line, uh, like a cheek line. Like we got to create the illusion of the cheek line. Like, like you, I don't know if you can see a picture, but like you can see the chin line going here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did a really. Yeah, yeah, it gets a little bigger right there. I see it. Yeah. Did he trim yeah. the bottom at all, or did he keep all he the length? Did. He did. He did. What, what was, was the thought process? Haircut. I hate that. Yeah, I don't need. Yeah. I don't need good haircuts. I need fast ones. Like I, I think I've said this on the show before. I sit down and I tell him this. I'm like, uh, buzz the sides with the two, shorten the top, keep it long enough to comb. Point me towards the TV, and faster is better. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be like that, but a 45 minute haircut from a master barber, where he has like the shaving lotion that's warm. Mm -hmm. He has the hot towel, and and he takes his time with you. It's like he wants you to have what you want in your vision, and you don't really have to give him a whole lot. Like you ever go to like a like a like a great clips and be like I, I want a little off here this this and they have to ask questions constantly. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, I like my beard to be promoted to grow. I would like it to look good with my face. And he's like, I got you. Mm. <laughs> Just went to work. Nice. Did he talk to you the whole time? Well, we, we, I, 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 I talked to him about my bald spot and he asked him like why does hair grow gray and things like that. And he's talked about pigment in your skin, how you use you lose the. I think it's the you lose the red and the green, and all you have left is the blue. And mm -hmm. when the blue comes out, it actually comes out almost looking white as you age. And he also said, like, balding where you're balding promotes heart disease. Hmm. Like, my men in my family die from pancreatic cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, a sunny outlook at least. He left that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that must have put a real. Proper spin on the whole haircut thing. <laughs> Only like, Wings of Redemption can turn a, a jolly old haircut into pancreatic cancer and heart <laughs> failure. <laughs> so you are looking nice. So I've got to ask you, um, last time uh, we were trying to uh, get that, that girl you were seeing into bed, did that happen? Yeah. Are you, are you still seeing... Master Barber haircut. <laughs> okay, okay. Or are you still seeing that girl? No, no. I'm not seeing that girl anymore. What happened right, there? Um... She just didn't work out. I mean, we, there there was there was something in be between us that. Um... <laughs> oh, go, on. Uh, uh, go on. What was in between you? I, I'm not gonna say, but there's things that, that that we were incompatible with, and we just didn't work out. I mean, I'm still I still have her on my Facebook. We're not like biting each other's heads off. I just kind of engineered a breakup with her. All right, all right, fair enough. So, are you on the hunt for a new lady then? I'm always on the hunt, son. I'm Wings of Redemption. Now, you're looking pretty nice tonight. <laughs> I'm always on the hunt, son. I'm Wings of Redemption. All right, all right. Get Before it right. we move on, you guys that needs to be subreddit. Here's what I want I want Wings of Redemption's face freeze framed right there when he smiled at the camera, and I want what he said as the meme. I want that. I'm Wings of Redemption. I'm always on the hunt, son. Oh, man. If they ever bring Wolf on their back, I hope I'm the star of it. I think it was actually I'm always on the hunt, son. I'm Wings of Redemption. Okay, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That, that was it. So, all right. So let's let's get you a girl. Let's let, let let's get you a girl. What can we do? Can you, I was sort of thinking about this, and I'm like, I don't know how we're going to do this properly. Like, who? How do we pick the ones to, that we're going to message? Here's what I want to do. I want to get on PlentyOfFish.com, the dating website where you find singles near you. Okay. Uh, how are we going to do this so you can see it, other than my phone, which is going to be tacky. I think we're going to do the phone. Yeah, I mean, no, is, hold it steady. It works okay. I'll, yeah, all we need from you is like, a, you showed me a picture earlier and it looked just fine. So uh, you're going to show us the ladies and then... Uh, do I pick the ones I like and we just roll down our profile? or? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like we, we don't want to hook you up with somebody you don't want to be with. Find us some that, that you know you think are attractive and you think would think you're attractive. It might work out. And well, that's, Woody, hard, that, that's hard to decipher. Like. And see, yeah, they don't have a labia size section on Plenty of Fish, I don't think. <laughs> oh my God, Lefty! <laughs> what? Um, uh, just just things that you wouldn't normally find out about a person on Plenty of Fish. One of which yeah, is that. Like, like big like, feet, I can, smelly I feet. I consider myself, I consider myself better than average looks in the facial region. And and a bit of a labia connoisseur. And um, I consider myself. <laughs> I'm not the best dresser in the world. Like you can see this tacky ass shirt I have on. No, you look. I like no, that shirt. No. You look good. I like. Yeah, it. That's where you're wrong. This you is, are the best dresser say, in the world. That's a king of cock shirt. That's a king of cock shirt. <laughs> this is, this look, is a Myrtle Beach tour look, shirt. Dude, you, you look like you you traffic in illegal iguanas right now. Okay, you look badass. <laughs> <laughs> you look you look like fucking Newman from Jurassic Park. <laughs> 
<laughs> doing that undercover deal in Guatemala or whatever the hell with that shaving cream stuff. Barbasol. <laughs> I I think Newman from Jurassic Park was a lot bigger than me. No, I'm not saying. I think he was shorter though. The, the, the shirt, the shirt. He was wearing a shirt like that when he met him in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah, red one, but yeah, similar. Yeah. I'm so, dresser than him. so regardless, you're gonna show us some pictures of some ladies that we think would, you know, you think yeah, would be a good like, fit. Like I said, here's the problem. It, it, a lot of girls aren't aren't big on big guys, so like let's, you can't just pick one out and be like, oh, I wonder if she's into me. Well, let's because look personality wise. I'm I'm good. Like. If it come, if it just came down to my personality versus a girl's personality, it would be against the law because I'd have so much of an advantage over her. Indeed. I mean, <laughs> Your humility <laughs> alone is unfair. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have confidence coming when it, like. You know what? Confidence even, beats humility when it comes to pants. girls. What, say that again. If a girl's even slightly into me, I can get in her pants within like a week. You know what? I believe you. Yep, me too. Yeah. yeah I believe you. He has a track record to back that up. Sure does. I mean, I mean, All you I, skinny guys, you know, on, on the JV varsity team, Wings of Redemption gets more tail than you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guarantee it. Uh, yeah. And, and, and tonight? It's, and it's a dirtier, nastier kind of tail that you can't even fucking imagine, okay? There's weird shit going on. There's costumes. <laughs> there's pr- other participants. There's people you've never even seen before. There's all. Ki- there's a light show in the middle of it. You ever seen a cock ring? Have you? I don't Have you ever seen, seen a man fuck a girl pool? wearing a GoPro around his head? No, you haven't. <laughs> Wings of Redemption has. He's been that guy. Have you ever seen a labia so big there was three <laughs> inches of it on your knuckle before you touched pussy? Wings of Redemption has, and he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> well, actually, he kind of does give a fuck, but he, he did it had... anyway. Not at the yeah, time. That was the fuck he gave. <laughs> he gave it to her. He literally gave a fuck to that. Oh. <laughs> No, oh, that's we're, we're, you're, you're gonna, we're gonna. So, so what exactly are we doing here? We're gonna ask, or we're gonna compose messages for wings to these ladies. Yeah. Why don't we sit? We I'll see what wings. You guys can spit game. Like we, this yeah, game absolutely. test. I want Lefty to do the first one. Okay, we'll take turns doing it. And I think we should message that woman you showed me earlier and just give she, her to get her to blow you. She lives in Darlington, though. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, there was a concern that this woman was so big. That if you put their bellies side to side, Wings' penis wasn't long enough to hit her vagina. And it wasn't she was so big because she wasn't like, she wasn't that big. Okay, she wasn't right. like enormous. She she just all she was um, fat, but it was all in the middle. Like like it, she had like a, do, a big do, belly. Do I, do, do I, should I show these girls? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not don't like like you know we're not gonna show I mean, their like, name or anything. The problem they, with the iPhone app is their name, their username is like permanently. Well, put, fuck it. Then show it to us. We don't care. I mean, they, they, yeah, can you can you click on the image at all and just bring up the image? They're literally already. Like, on can the you internet. put your I can't, thumb I can't on it? That. Like this girl it. just messaged me. Bam! Right here. Let's see this. Perfect. That's a oh, good one right there. She's right. a cutie. Yeah. Uh huh. Like Lefty, make it happen. That's a that's a good looking lady. Okay. Uh. Can you link her profile? Whoa. Do you have her on the? Yeah. Can, the can you link her profile? Gotta have a funny fish account. Oh, you can't just go to a URL. Oh, uh, you got left. It. Yeah, so so let you just give Wings the message and he can send it. Okay. Uh, just type, so send me the message and I'll type it out on Plenty of Fish. And I will read it. All right. Um, let's see. Wow. What, can I see the? Can I see another picture again, Wings? Okay. I I got pictures for you. It's just uh, the hangout freaked out I, a little she bit. She looks like she's about like 29, 30 maybe, yeah. or, or is she younger? Yeah. In that picture, she's like twenty four, but in the other one, she, she is uh, twenty three. Okay. She is uh, from Gladden, North Carolina, which is just outside Tabor City. Lefty, because you're doing the backup recording, are you putting wings on the big picture? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I want to read this to you. Say my first rodeo cowboy. I know what I'm doing. I, I apologize. This, no. <laughs> you, Let, this is right here. Let All me right. read this to Lefty so you don't step over some bounds. He goes, oh, and a little advice. You can't turn a whore into a housewife. So keep that in mind, guys, while you're on the search. I'm looking. I'm not looking for a hookup either. So if your piece's ass is all you want, please don't waste mine or your time. Don't get me wrong, sex is what's up, but I'm not what I'm look. It's not what I'm looking for right now. I'd rather have someone to spend time with and get to know. Well, that's enough for my rambling. I'm moving on. Hmm. I mean, I'm sorry to read it that way, but the it's not typed the best. Okay, so see the 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 first quote confuses me because you can't turn a whore into a housewife. 
kind of well, indicates what, like what I'm she's here indicating to... is like most guys on they go into plenty of fish, go into mm-hmm. plenty of fish because they're traveling city to city and they're looking for a piece of ass for that two days. Yeah, that are there. I, I think she was implying she was the ha- you can't turn a whore into a housewife. She's saying you don't want a whore, you want me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how oh. I took it. She's a bigger girl, okay. and she. Um, All right. Uh, what's better. her What's her What's her name? First sure. name. I'm gonna give her first, first name, name. Ashley. Ashley. Okay, just so I can. Uh, and what's the goal here, Wings? You just want to? I don't. What is the goal, Kyle? I, I think the, I think the goal should be for a date to happen. Yeah, for or a date at to least, happen. Or at or least maybe to, to or, date. or or at least to like um, talk on the phone. This right. is hard. Can, can I go tell you what's going on through my head? So in my head. I've got tremendous game, right? I've been having success after success for like 20 years in a row now. I'm on a hot streak. I can't lose. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm hypothetically writing a letter on Wings' behalf, and I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I, something along the lines of, Ashley, hello, uh, my name is Jordy. I, was, I, got, I got something I can do for you guys. Simply Maybe leaning Yazo. over to the woman you've been with since you were oh, 19 you years old and saying, are you down? Doesn't seem like it would fit <laughs> in this right. situation. Yeah, uh, that would be bad game, Woody. <laughs> and I, it works. It works great. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If you've been with someone for you know a, a number of uh, you know some time, yeah, this was like there's not a lot of build up. You're just like, like, did you say, are you down? And you had like a full steak on the table or something? Uh, no, I had 20 minutes to kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you down? Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to married sex. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Hey, you wanna have sex first? Sure. All right, let's make this happen. Yeah, okay. I didn't need eggs that bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pancakes so can wait. We're trying to get wings to to. to are you sending us a gaz of the profile? Wings? I could. T- w- I I am trying to, but like the site has a lot of traffic to it. So sometimes it's slow. Uh, okay, so I was thinking something like this, just to, just spitballing off the top of my head. Hello, Ashley. My name is Jordy. I was browsing profiles on Plenty of Fish, and your profile caught my eye. Um, let's see. Do you want to lead off? Do you want to lead off by saying you look good? Because if you if you oh shit, he just uh, shit, dropped. We lost, him. We lost, lost him. him. He'll come back. He'll All come right. back. Oh, he I'll wants wait. the pussy. I want to wait. Man, we got him going good with that labia talk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wings, buddy, you there? He might have just had a misclick. Oh yeah, was that a misclick? You're muted. No, You're, no, 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 no. Uh, my internet just can't handle like two things at one time. Oh damn. Um, but anyway, I was thinking, you know, if you want to, you don't want to really get into the meat and potatoes of your message by saying, you, you know, your profile picture caught my eye because that might like clue her into the idea, or at least make her think that you just want to get into her panties. So. Um, I was browsing profiles on Plenty of Fish, and your profile caught my eye. It looks as though you've got a lot to say, and I, too, love getting to know somebody. And um, let's see what else. Uh, getting to know somebody. Um, I sent them, learning, yeah, I learning about them, profile. Learning about them and their views and their thoughts on on whatever it may be. And um, I would love to uh, set up, uh, at least talk to you, so maybe we could set up a, um, a, a lunch date or a, you know, go get coffee and talk hey, about you, this or that. You're going to freak her out. I'm going to tell you this now, Lefty. Well, it's either that or, hey, bitch, let's get to fucking. Can I take a whack at it? Go for it. Mm. Like I, I, sent, um, I sent the two <clears throat> Giazzo links. Two Giazzo. Oh, 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 oh. Can I read this? Yeah, go for it. Here's I mean, what you said. Here's what you said. Go ahead. Oh, there's a whole thing. Yeah. You say, hey, I've never used one of these sites before. This is my first time, but right away I uh, I spotted you, and I loved reading your bio. I'm not looking for a short-term thing. I'm definitely looking for somebody that uh, – some, I'm definitely looking for companionship and someone that I can spend time with and someone that's right for me. If you think that might be you, let me know because I'm not looking for anything silly either. Damn. So God just blew it out of the water. <laughs> In a good way, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle crushed it. Kyle, can can we get that into a, a message and go? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll type that. Well, damn. Oh, shit. She's in Holden Beach. Wings, can you find another one? We'll line them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Wings, it... it uh, never mind. 
What is this one here? What do you say honestly for? Oh no, no, I was thinking some. Uh, I was thinking of something totally different. I was going. That was excited. the that was the same link wings as you sent previously. I understand it's the same link, but oh, like, okay. it wasn't loading for me, so I just did another one. Do you have another girl? I want to see her written profile. Yep, I got another for him. But my internet's going really slow right now. So how do you go what... about finding compatible women? Like I, the cert, the thing does it. Oh, the thing does it. Yeah, it basically takes all your survey answers and mixes you with other people. Like you pick, like, do you want? Would you date a smoker? Would you date somebody that has kids? Do you want to date somebody that's fat? I mean, so any any of the girls here, click that they would date somebody that was bigger. But uh -huh. most of them, when they're put with it, they kind of back down. Hmm. Well, you don't know. Never know. Never know. So I'm curious, if a girl backs down, does it hurt your feelings? That's happened so many damn times, it, do, it doesn't even phase me anymore. That's the way to go, man. Yeah, you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. It, it, not every... It, sometimes these defeats are just Dude, steps I mean, some of, them will, some of them will not even read your shit and delete it just ba based off your picture. I bet... Don't you do that? No, you nope. probably read it, right? I'm, I'm a nice person. Like, I will read it and I'll reply to it even if I'm not interested in you. At Question, Wings. Uh, are, are a lot of the girls that don't even read the messages and just delete them, do they look like uh, Ashley here? N n some of them do. Really? Like, let me find. Let me see if I can find somebody that All unread right. delete. Uh, da, 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 da. So can you tell that she read and deleted without replying? Yes, you can. You, you, when, you go, when you go to your sent message, it'll say unread deleted. Like oh. this girl, for example. I'm just going to do her pictures. I don't know why they have to tell you that. <laughs> that's a little harsh. No, oh, no. Well, yeah, that's like, yeah, you can't even... I mean, at least click on it. I mean, if you understand the game, too, if you're going to delete it anyway, just read it and then delete it. Like, no. Like, it, like here, for example. Like, this girl I sent a message, and this is one of those girls that I'm like, I'm better looking than you. I you are better looking than she is. Well, his internet hates Google Hangouts. So Slash. I'm tempted to show this woman's picture, can I? Yeah, uh, yeah she, there's nothing there. That's... So in my screen, if we use my recording, you can see this woman's picture. And Wings is better looking than she is. I am better looking than her. I have a more successful job than her. Like, what? Uh, what is her job? That's one thing I noticed. Stupid. Of the girls we've looked at so far, they haven't been that financially successful. You know, this one's living with her mom until so she gets on her feet. And she's in her 20s, right? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't living off my parents past 19. I mean, this the the first girl, her job is EMT. That's cool. The second job. girl is a is just still staying with her parents. Ashley's an EMT, huh? Yes. Kyle, did you write it up? No, Kyle. I think he's, I think he's still typing. Maybe I, he's talking. I'm oh, yeah, I'm, I'm typing. Uh, I'm typing. Um, almost done. Like five seconds. All right. Wings, do you have another one? I want a, a I, profile I, to read. Dude, I am. My computer is sucking right now. Oh man! Didn't like, you just my, upgrade your internet connection? People don't understand how bad my internet is. This is the internet I paid two hundred fifty bucks for too, and it's dropped twice just uploading a website. Wow. Uh, there you go, Wings. Kyle, put the put the message in the in the chat for you. So it is. Hey, I've never used one of these sites before. This is my first time. But I've got to say, from your profile, I think you're exactly the kind of girl I'm looking for. I'm not looking for anything short term. I don't have time for that crap. I'm looking for companionship and hopefully a long term relationship. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to rush into anything. But a long term relationship is definitely my goal. That being said, however, you are beautiful. Hope to hear from you soon. I'm going to adjust this a little bit, Kyle. Couple All right. Reasons. One reason um, that you can see how long somebody's actually been on it from when they first joined. <laughs> so, and I've been on the site for like nine years now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a thing. Well, it was your first time nine years ago. I mean. <laughs> so say something like, hey, I, I never I, really well, used I was going to adjust thing. a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah, change it, whatever. I just think it's good if she doesn't think of you as another, like, fisherman on plenty of fish. Fisherman. Well, the, the, what there is a thing called fish. It's called uh, casting a net. 
What I you know. Do is you make a um, you make something just like Kyle just wrote up, and you cast that net out there, and you yep. send it to like twelve or fourteen different girls, and whoever responds back, you pick out which one you like the most. Wings, that's what we're doing right now. Do I they know that you're casting a net? No, you no. see, we're not even. We're we're personally tailoring these. I mean, exactly. if this ever gets back to them, we're, I mean, we're tailoring these messages to these ladies. That is true. I want to read her um, her profile. Does anyone think this is a good idea? Uh, sure, as long as it doesn't give anything, um, you know, names. Yeah, but I mean, if you can locations, if, if you can search that on Plenty of Fish, I mean, you can create a Plenty of Fish account and then search it, and then you can find this person. I wouldn't worry. worry. Nobody's that crazy. Yeah, we don't have crazy people watching Painkiller already. <laughs> this no. crazy. They don't have time to mess with Wing's girlfriend, do you? No. Is there anybody out there who's really got that much time on your hands? You, you know what? You know what you need to do no. if you have there's, that much time on your hands? There's no way that, like, at the end of this segment on the PKA subreddit, there's a whole list of everyone we wrote to. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. If you have that much time on your hands, you should be over at uh, the Overachievers Guide to Games and seeing what Corey's up to, and trying to get him a job with Rooster Teeth. Trying to get him a job with Rooster Teeth if he's mm -hmm. if he's not already with them by now in the show. Or if you want, WoodyCraft.net. I think we're launching a new game type tomorrow, Skyblock. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah, or over at youtube.com slash FPS, there's going to be a Fallout Let's Play later tonight. There's or if really you're looking yeah. for Grand Theft Auto V Let's Plays, come on over to my channel. Bam, yeah, I pit my channel, Woody, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really, really matter. Nobody knows what it is. Where, you know I'm at. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you're right. It doesn't help when your channel's URL has like those African click noises in it. <laughs> Yeah, I use wingdings to set up my channel. It's, like, it's Lexi or web dings. One seven zero R. <laughs> Just head on over there for those GTA Five let's plays. YouTube.com slash those live streams. Live streams. <laughs> oh god, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. You know, I, I really wish YouTube would come up with some way to to change uh, to change your channel name if you wanted to. Like, if you you know, you can. Like what if your What if your channel? All right, let's say so. You're Woody's gamer tag. Uh -huh. Let's say Let's say you did a Tech Tuesday that just brought in some sort of enormous revolution of like five million extra fans who were all tech nerds, and your channel right. by definition became more of a tech channel. Then I wish I it could make it great. slash Woody. Yeah, I wish you could. You know, Woody's te Woody's tech review. What Something. about that, you know? Whatever. Something like that. It, you'd, you'd want to tailor it more to being a tech review guy and, you know, that sort of thing. It'd be good if you had that option. For Indeed. All right, so back to getting wings late. Yes. <laughs> this girl right here just now checked my profile out. How do you she know? did already. No, the, the, this is a new girl. It happened while I was on the site. She seems to be a Walmart associate. Ah, oh, they put out produce this pussy. Man, uh, Discount. Yo, Wigs, get with this girl so we can get copies of video games early, dude. Yeah, and dude. produce pussy? <laughs> you know, all right, so I, I, all I'm going to say is like talking to her on the phone most likely is out. Why is that? How many, how many Walmart employees have you talked to on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That yeah, was that's really, not I bad. Yeah, we'll that be on hold. <laughs> I, say, I say we send her uh, a, um, a, a joke message. I say we send her a message that says, what's your name? Her name is Taylor Marie oh, Lowe. La, 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 la. We didn't need the last name. <laughs> so we say, hey, Taylor. Dad, Wings it? ruined it. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. How you going? Uh, just wanted to check. Just saw your profile, and I wanted to send you this message. And I wanted to find out if you guys were going to have any sales and sporting goods this month. I'm looking to buy a new shotgun. I'm thinking about the Remington 870, and I'm hoping you guys are going to have some sales. Let me know. Also, I really like your profile. You're attractive. And you look like a fun person to be around. Message me back if you've got a sense of humor too. I don't get it. <laughs> I like that play. I Why like the shock? I didn't get it. She works at Walmart. He right? wants her to go over the sporting goods department and let him know if there's any sales at Walmart. Yeah, the 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 hook is the end. The how Kyle signed off the message. That's the hook. What, what if he went with just a simple like, "Hey, I saw you checking out my profile. I've been checking out yours too." I sent a profile. I don't know if you read it. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it now. Well, that just takes all the fun out of it. No, Kyle, it? I like that play, that little, you know, <laughs> let me know if you have a message me back if you have a sense of humor, too. She's That's a good. pretty girl. Because if she laughs, she's going to feel like she's in a special club. Or you could be like, hey, girl, I've been checking out your profile, or hey, Taylor, I've been checking out your profile. 
And you know, I think you you I like that somebody's compassionate. I'm looking for um, a relationship, not just any kind of hookup. And since you like anything in entertainment, I've got a place you can go on the internet to check out some great entertaining videos. I, I the wanna, overachieving gamer guide good. to games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. And, and like, Woodycraft.net and Netflix.com slash <laughs> Woody and <laughs> YouTube.com slash FPS. Yeah. Could go on stuff. forever. We're yeah, gonna... Let me ask you let me ask you guys this something. Can you guys see the picture that I linked to her of her? Yes. yes sir. Yeah. Okay. She has a tattoo of some boy. It looks like the name of James on her left breast. Mm -hmm. She has a tongue ring and she wait, has wait, like, wait, wait, wait. I don't see her boob picture. It's nope. the it's the second from the top left. You see, look, it's cleavage. Hold on, it's monitor's far away. It's it's just cleavage, but yeah. So I, I don't understand. Does that bother you? It's probably your kid. No, she has no children. But uh, I don't. How I don't, did you I, read that? After Shalene, I clicked off the we, "you will date anybody with children" thing. <laughs> Wings, do you know where this chick is? Do you know where she lives? Like in what area she? This she's is Green Sea Floyd. I Look at that! Like did anyone else notice these photos have been uh, tampered with a bit? So this one's been flipped because the tattoo's now on her right breast, not her left. In which one? Um, so top. That's a um, selfie photo, most likely. Mm. Yeah, well, something's going on there. There's a mirror effect going on. I see oh. two pictures, two and four, which is the boob. That photo, yeah. And she like tried to cut him out. <laughs> well, one may be the 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 fourth one may be a mirror shot. Does anything about this these pictures bother you? Like, like, or, does that upset you that she's got the the tattoo on her breast? Well, I'm asking you over what do you like? What is your opinion on it? Well, here's the thing: you could go after and say, "What's the deal? Was this an ex boyfriend?" But there's always that like 15 percent chance she's gonna say, "No, I had a son named James. He died in a car accident last week, last year." And then you're just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and that's also like that's a that's a far that's an advanced stage when you start yeah. asking somebody yeah, we like, don't ask about that titty tattoo for quite some time <laughs> yeah that's that's not at until least after, after texting we've seen or the titty uh-huh yeah right that's after like the first time you're like you know let me ask you a question somebody go write this thing out so i can copy paste it or am i supposed to like stenography? Well, no but i'm i'm thinking like what is um you know you know where she's at is there a restaurant in that area that's like really nice <laughs> <laughs> not you why? You wanted to tell her to get a job there? Wings ain't taking her there. You crazy? What kind of game is that, Lefty? Buying, no. buying women food? No, yeah. because if you read her profile, her she's got this huge paragraph when, devoted to this first date fantasy. What is this fancy restaurant bullshit? When Wing well, takes a woman to a really? restaurant, he carries let me, her tray. Oh, let me make, let me make <laughs> my case. Hold on, let, let me, me make my case. Let me make my case. The goal is to get in this girl's panties. But to get... To effectuate that end, you first have to talk to her. And she's obviously devoted a lot of time to this first date fantasy in which she talks about uh, blah, 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 someone take me out to a nice meal and something like that. It doesn't have to be fancy, but if there's a nice restaurant that everybody agrees is kind of nice and isn't, you know, the fast food burger shack, and you'd be like, hey, you know, at some point, not in the first message maybe, but at some point you, you mention that and because she's obviously devoted a lot of thought to it, and then you're like, oh, this person, she'll think of you as like, oh, this person is, you know, pl you have to key on what she wants. And she's obviously devoted a lot of time to this, and it's really important to her. So you have to key on that if you want to get your foot in the door. Let me tell you something. All right. If she treats me nice enough, I might get her an extra value meal. <laughs> Super size you, you, that shit. You're never gonna buy her the meal. You're never gonna take her out to dinner. That's not the. But the point is, you got to get your foot in the door. Well, the point is, she lives in bumfuck nowhere. Green Sea Floyd is farmland. It is 28 miles worth of farmland. She probably comes to Conway to work. I know, and it's 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 all bullshit. That's the point. <laughs> the point is, is that you're you're telling a bullshit story because you want to bang this broad, but. One of the keys to that chastity belt is you have to engage me on some level right, that I'll let you inside we'll, we'll, me. Picture type number five out. here. Type Go your on. magic out. I'll put it in there. Let's see if Lefty can get it. All right. Your wings now. Come on. Picture number you're, five. You're a 400-pound makes... fat man with a magnificent beard, and you're trying to get it. <laughs> Picture number five makes it look like she's good in the sack. Like that. That's the that's the photo of a woman who can cut loose. I dig it in the ass. This is the picture I take when I think about it. <laughs> no, that's her saying the really ass part of it. I take it in the ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And, and, like, look at my look at my tongue ring. I put this on your dick. Yep. 
That's no, she. That girl right there is a girl that is no stranger to a dick. I mean, it sounds like a country song. That sounds like a country song. I'm no stranger to the cock. <laughs> <laughs> many times I've wrote it, and many times I've not. <laughs> not That's, bad. Not it's bad. Definitely a country song. <laughs> Yeah. No, she's no stranger to the cock. So what are we going to tell her? What are we going to send this this lady? Lefty's Who wants to take it? it? Lefty's, oh, lefty's, it, lefty's on it. Lefty's I'm going to try to type something. You guys can let me know what you think. Wings, can I get a profile? Find a profile with the text uh, okay. and everything. Okay. Not just pictures. I'm, 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 I sent a profile with her. Yeah, it's, I think it's the first Gyaza link. Since, since Kyle's little um, spiel. Oh, there it is. Gotcha, gotcha. 20 years old and I love the country. I'm a small town goal with gr- I'm a small town girl with goals and aspirations. I'm not satisfied with being mediocre. I'm a compassionate person who will do anything I can help for a friend. I love just about anything entertainment wise and I'm not picky at all. I love to laugh and have fun. I can be a huge dork and I have a constant sense of humor. I'm just looking for someone who can hold my attention because lately that's been hard to find. I want someone who is unique. Oh, and here's the first date fantasy. Should I read it? Yes, go ahead and read it out there for us. My ultimate first date would be for someone to come and pick me up and take me out to a nice meal and somewhere that we can walk around and talk and interact in some way. I would love for the person to be entertaining and talkative, and after the main part of the date is over, I'll be able to just ride around and carry a conversation like old friends. I live out in the country, so it's a nice little drive to get to anything interesting, and I hate awkward rides. I hate awkward anything. For me, it's not really about what we do on the date, but more about having someone having a personality that can make me feel comfortable and at ease and enough to be totally myself. I don't want someone to show off how much they can spend and all these people, wait, how much they can spend or all these people they know. I just want some, I just want to spend time with a genuinely nice guy who can make, who can get me talking and make me laugh. Not a bad profile. No, it's well written. Sounds like she's intelligent and uh, thoughtful. <clears throat> yeah, um, buddy. Go on. Question: Do you want hard, medium, or easy? Are, what What are these? Uh, what, what are we grading? We're grading the level of how 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 do I think I could score with this person? Hard meaning not a chance in hell. Medium means with enough coaxing. Easy means I'm most likely good. Let's let's do let's do medium. Let's not shoot for the sky, but let's um. Um, you know, let's try right. to be like. The girl, let's try the girl to be like, right now is most likely going to be hard. That's okay. Let's do like eight of them. Let's do like eight or ten of these. Yeah. You know? I don't think hey, I let's have mix. Eight or ten girls here. I well, think there's like maybe twelve girls in my range. All right, message them all then. Fuck it. All right. Wait, wait. Uh, you don't have eight or ten, but you have twelve. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not interested in all of them. Like, oh, some okay. Of them, like in their forties. Dude. Yeah, they'll be dead soon. Dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> what you need is a sugar mama. You get you a big country mama who's forty years old, uh-huh. and you know some some she likes to cook for you. She she's she's just gonna be hanging around there, almost like a mother figure. What but she's gonna need... like cook and clean and do all that stuff. No, and she's got a no. job. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, move no. her ass in. Cook and clean is good and everything. She should be a certified public accountant, right? It's a nice or stable a job. Teacher. Well, Woody, here you go. I'm not looking to screw you. <laughs> no, 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 look. I actually have a girl that's checked me out that actually is an accountant. Nice. Oh, this, uh, yeah. All right. Where's the rest of her profile, the text part? I'm, I'm, I'm sending him in two separate links. Oh, that second picture, is that her kid? She does have children, this one does. All right. She has one that's 13, one that's five, and uh, she, her, the husband of her children died in an automobile wreck. Oh. Perfect. Okay, I want someone I can connect with, a family guy. I love dancing and hanging out with friends. I have two kids who are a handful, but fun and loving. I'm not one of those girls who needs a man to take care of me or my children. I have my own house, a car, and a job. I'm very busy, but in my spare time, I would like to have someone to talk to and spend my time with. I go to church, the gym, and the club, only for dancing. I'm not here to hook up. I'd like to start traveling. Let me know if you're interested. First date, I'm up for anything. That's a good sign. All right. I think we should tell her how much Wings loves the church. <laughs> start off oh right there. My Lord. Just start off like I also go to the church. Praise Jesus. And I'm all about the gym. The gym and the church. Those are your two main haunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are my two calling cards in life. Like I just can't keep myself out of them. All right. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> Here's what I want. Find find one that you you would rate as a hard. Find a find a chick that you would rate as a hard, and let me uh, let me write a message for. A raise a hard. Let me ask you this, Wings. Would you date a religious woman and like you know get serious and be okay with it? Would and, you know just be tolerant? I don't care. I don't. When when religion and relationships, I pretty much just don't talk about religion. And like if they like God is great, God is good. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, he is. Like, <laughs> He's a swell keep- guy. Yeah. <laughs> I try to keep my views out of it as much as possible All because right. it just causes problems in a relationship setting. But don't you be like a 16 year old punk on Xbox Live. Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right, oh. here is uh, here we go. Here's Lefty, Lefty, read it response. to us. Am I reading it? Please. In your sexy okay. voice. Yeah, it, do it sexy. <laughs> Hey Taylor, came across your profile and was intrigued by your focus on compassion. Compassion is also something I've been lacking in my life. And while I'm not looking for looking necessarily for a long-term relationship, I enjoyed sh- I enjoy shared compassion and letting someone be themselves around me. I love conversation of all kinds, uh, anything that would really get my mind going. And quite honestly, just how well written your profile is tells me that you have some interesting things to say, and I'd like to hear them. Message me back so I can actually hear what you have to say. I gotta, I gotta check something. Not bad, not bad. Okay, good. I almost thought that I, like I left like uh, Kyle's username into the last. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you did? No, I didn't. I oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. That would be like, that would be awkward. Savage saying this. Then I'd have to fuck her. <laughs> It's just one. There's no choice. Oh, shit happens. Mm-hmm. Let's see. All right. Looking for the girl with the hard. All right. All right. Taylor is still online, so she can. She can get that respond. message. If we get a response by the end of the show, does that like indicate a winner? Like, is that? A, well, that she's like an immediate. If we get that one, can't be a, you got the, the the key is to get them to go out with you. Yes. So the response is going to be pretty easy, I think, if they're even, you know, if they're online. I think we'll get a response. The the trick is getting a uh, a date, or getting, you know, that's right. our goal. I think this girl's cute. I don't know, but it's hard to tell her whole body because she's doing the fat girl thing, mm-hmm. where she uh, kind of like takes the camera at a high angle. All right. Let's uh let's, let's see what this uh, young lady looks like. Let's see here. Alright, there's that. I'm giving you everything I can give. Some people don't have first date responses. And by the way, if there's any of you guys out there who are wondering if this actually works, um, it does. So I've traveled around a lot, and I'd usually travel with at least one or two other guys to you know split driving and, and help with stuff. And they would do The other two guys, I would not, because, they, you know... I, I, I just wouldn't. I didn't, never have. But they would both get on plenty of fish, and they would be fishing. I'm doing air quotes right now. They'd be doing fishing on the way into a city. They'd go ahead and set their profile for the zip code of the city we were going to be in, so on that five, six, seven-hour drive, they're fishing the whole time. And by the time we got there, one of them had always you know, lined something up. He was going to meet some girl at the hotel, something like that, because it is kind of a hookup site. It's, 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 it's definitely not... The, one of those really wholesome sites where there aren't just chicks who just want dick. Like there are girls on there who are just straight up looking for a dude to go hook up with. So that's it's a valuable the tool. Site on the internet. Like I've been to the paid ones too, like Match and Harmony. They suck compared to Plenty of Fish and the sheer amount of females. And it's it's on your mobile device, so you've got them. Um, you can get in touch with them quickly. You know, they get an alert if they're actually looking for somebody. I gotta get one from Woody. I'm working on it. All right. Yeah, Woody's gotta lay some of that Don Juan. Oh, I did. I gave one to Woody. I gave him the accountant. Yeah, I'm writing to her right now. Oh. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna like super hot one. I want. The, oh, I like this girl. The accountant's got a The tagline on the accountant has to be, "Can I get into your accounts receivable?" <laughs> she's a, she's a little older, Lefty. She's not 18. I really like this one girl with the uh, the bluish green eyes. Yeah, she's and she's cute as a button, isn't she? Yeah, she's very cute. She really is. She's and she's she's like making some silly faces in a couple of them, like little like 
smirks mm-hmm. and uh, like like sad faces. Yeah, and like stuff. when I see something like this, so Kyle, I think instantly, like, why is every one of them in the driver's seat of her car? Because she and said they're different, they're different days because they got different shirts on. Yeah, yeah, they are. Does she yeah. have an overprotective father? Is she like doing it while living at her boyfriend's house? I don't know. Some people take selfies in the car. Like it's a good angle. You're sitting mm-hmm. down. You've got good lighting. You're by yourself. That's I mean that's when you're gonna take a selfie, right? So you don't <laughs> want anybody else to see. Phil of God. But uh, I think that's what's going on here. That's just when she's got her alone time. Uh, I think this is a perfect one, though. She's got really nice eyes, mm-hmm. and she's cute. And she changes her look a lot. Look, she's, like, blonde in one photo. She's a uh, redhead in another. She looks like a short... She, like, cut it short and went brunette at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a good one. I'll bang this chick. <laughs> if this doesn't work out with you guys, uh, just just go ahead and slip me that information over here. <laughs> oh... Kyle's on his own PC, like setting up his own <laughs> account. Hey, I know that I know that Wings of Redemption guy has messaged you, but don't listen to that bullshit. He only wants you for your body. Those words I... were mine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It was my love. He spat at you. Oh, man, you guys, back you, to me. you guys want to see the darker side of Plenty of Fish? Do you want to hear oh, my yes. my letter? Is this a black joke or what? All right, yeah, let's... <laughs> Left you went right there. So here's my letter. Let me go before Wings. All right. Remembering her said. I want someone I can connect with, a family guy. I love dancing, hanging out with friends. I have two kids who are a handful but fun-loving. Not one of those girls who needs a man to take care of me or my children in my own house, car, job. I'm busy, but in my spare time, I want to have someone I can talk and spend time with. I go to the church, gym, and club for dancing. I'm not here to hook up. I'd like to start traveling. Let me know if you're interested. So my reply, which is filled with lies... I read your profile and thought, wow, this is like the female version of me. I'd love to have a partner to take to the gym, church, and Sunday around the world. <laughs> Wings hates the gym, church, and traveling. I also <laughs> have the world. <laughs> I also have. A, I'd also like to. Ha- um, I also have a house, several cars, and a job that keeps me very busy. Life is meant to be shared, so while I'm not looking to dive headfirst into something super serious right away, I would like someone who's open to that, Jordy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, read it yourself and tell me. Does it? It's good. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the church and the gym thing is really. Church and the gym and traveling. You're all about that. You're not trying to dive into the church. You're trying to dive into something else. This, like, Come on now. You know, like I could finance a trip to Woody's house, but I can't finance a trip to Utah. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, you gave me I, one who likes traveling, the church, and the gym. It was hard. It was hard. <laughs> yeah. We, Honesty was said, not the best tactic I'm gonna there. Take, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit, Woody, and take the church out of it, because I have zero interest in going to church. Oh. Yeah, you should if have I said, get drugged to a church, I will be cussing you in the pew. <laughs> you you, you should have said something like, I see that you like traveling the church and, and going to the gym. Well, I'm here to correct your crooked ways, because listen up. <laughs> there's nothing out there for you anymore, because Big Daddy's going to be taking care of that pussy from now on. Second of all, you're not going to need the gym with all the bouncing up and down you're going to be doing over here. And third of all, we might need a priest after what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> I sent it. <laughs> <laughs> he sent mine, though. should be like, there oh, is no sir. God but <laughs> wings of redemption to you now. Worship at my feet. Have we had any replies or activity on these? Ah, oh. some because we're always saying this something ridiculous. It almost seems like he's like fuck this shit, but, <laughs> right? Like fuck you guys. Yeah. Wings, have we had Wings. any replies yet? Any bites? You're, You're muted. muted. That's what we call them as bites. That is that is what you call. Them. Yeah, I, I was just going with the plenty of fish thing. Yeah, absolutely. Wings, can you say anything? Are you unmuted yet? Nope. That's a negative. Wait, you're you're muted in the hangout. You're muted in the hangout. I I've sent it. Um, like sometimes they're not online. Taylor is still online. She has read it, but she has not wrote back. So she's either writing a novel or ignoring it. Which one's Taylor? The Walmart. Okay. My temptation is to keep blasting her with messages, but I'm pretty sure that's the Could. opposite of a good idea. <laughs> it totally is. It totally is. Could you find me like a hard one who is online? Because I want a response. Hard. Who is this girl with the the, the 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 cute eyes that Wings likes? Did we send her one yet? Or was that the CPA? No, the CPA was the older one. This one with the blue eyes that Wings liked. Or was the, Wings saving that one for himself? He's like, I'm doing this. Nobody else is helping. Kyle wanted one that I that, that raised a heart. That's what he, he went for. 
Yeah, I want a, I want a hard one that we All can right. kind of be silly with. All right, this one right here I have zero chance in hell with, even though she has kids. Okay. Link, uh, fix, etc. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm going to, yeah, as soon as I see this, I'll start typing. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Wow. This one's hard. No, no, no. We are going to get you in this chick's stretched out coochie. Wow, that's a that's a very nice looking young lady. I would like she's got a very beautiful face. Like her face is like a like yeah. a like an eight and a half nine. She's fashionable. She looks like she's twenty one years old. She's a blonde. She belongs in a convertible. Her hair totally costs like three hundred dollars. Uh huh. Those sunglasses <laughs> cost two hundred. <laughs> And, and like the it. first picture is like her, like just casually sort of snapped without posing, and she's gorgeous. When, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. She's she's very keen to put the kid in almost every picture. She, the kid's in three out of four photos. That's true. That's true. In the fourth picture, she's making an ugly face, still hot, and she's still very hot. <laughs> yeah. You should ask. You should you should ask that towards the end. Of like, let's see how you look without that Instagram filter on. And by the way, ladies, if you're out there and, you, and you're one of these chicks that do the duck face because it's your your way of like trying to be not pretty, no, no, and, and like get away. No, it's not it's not attractive. It makes you look a moron. But this chick, it makes this chick look super hot. I have only a, a su- it to be a really hot chick to pull off the duck face. I have a thing. We should start it right here on Painkiller already. So the duck face, if you don't know, is this, right? Girls do this all the time. They take their pictures. It's a ridiculous look. Here's what I want you to do instead. I want you to bite your lower lip. Do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> if, if I could get girls to start doing some sort of oral thing, you know, bite their lips, stick their tongue out, whatever, then I will have done my service. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, the biting the lip is a lot more attractive. Yeah, way better. Way better. Mm-hmm. I look creepy and scary when I do it, but you look good. Girls. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to stick with you. We're talking to wings. Yeah. Not, okay, see, uh, busted. Our profile reads, ahead. I'm a busy woman, loves being a mother, and always puts my son first. But I still desire to find a man I believe I've been waiting for, my beloved, and I his. Yes, I know it sounds a little silly, but a girl can dream. Mm, that's, 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 extra, that's doubly hard because she gave you nothing to work with. There's like no... You told me to find a hard one. This is what you justify as hard. I'm I'm typing this message out right now. <laughs> I mean, she looks, she looks like she spends most of her money on herself. She has like a tube TV back in the background over her son's head. I mean, no, she spends most of her her son's father's money on herself, probably. You think the dad's in the picture on that one? I don't. I don't. I, I don't think he. I She's think not she was that a, much older than that kid. mm Hmm. I mean, the kid looks cool as shit, though. Like, he reminds me of like one of those kids from like one of the, like the movies. Like, God, what's that little blonde kid? I, can't, I know what you're me. thinking from Jerry Maguire, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. Yeah, the kid looks cool. She looks cool. Um, but I will say the age. Day, I mean, she honestly looks like she's 24, and that she's kid looks 26. That kid looks mm-hmm. nine. He's not. Probably, nine. He's probably about five. No, I think somewhere seven. in the middle. Yeah, but he still, be she, seat she, like that's, that's seven, a guys. He's in a car girl. seat in the one of the pictures. Yeah, he's she's in a car seat, and she's younger. Those are the ones where she looks extra hot. Yeah, I mean, she's. I think uh, the hottest picture is the, the really crappy one with the light shining in your face. The fourth so wait, one. She, oh, she's really? how old? She's twenty-four, one? right? The third one. She's twenty-six. Twenty-six. All right, so. You know, like she's sitting on like what looks like snow, but it's really like a really shitty editing job. Hmm. Because there's like apartments in the background that just look like discoloration of grass. Like she's super <laughs> Yo, girl, I can color correct your profile pictures. What's up? <laughs> sure What's up? Kyle, do you have anything yet? I need 10 seconds. Kyle is going to control C, control V into a text file for when he <laughs> messages this girl later on his <laughs> private account. Like, hey, hey, girl. What up, Shaw? I know if this sounds familiar. I wonder if those pictures are out of date. Like, how far out of date? Because that kid ages a couple years, I think, between the first and the fourth picture. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, like. Booster seat, car seat is wrong. You, you can still be in the booster seat, car seat of four or five. 
but like seven, you're not in a car seat. No, older it can be. Like some states are seven years or 70 pounds, and some states are eight years or 80 pounds. South Carolina, it's 50. You got to be at least four feet tall. <laughs> 50 pounds. It would be, right? Like there South, you go. South Carolina, if you can chug a whole grape juice, you're good. <laughs> you know, you got to be four soda. feet tall or, or 50 pounds. I know that from Shalene because her kids were in those seats, and I hated them. I'm like, why do we got to lug these things around? Just put them in the seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Kyle? You like my message, Lefty? <laughs> <laughs> Can I read it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, my friends and I are looking at your pro profile and we're all blown away. I think we're perfect for each other. Hear me out. Now, you look like the kind of girl who's into clown sex. Well, look no further. I love getting into full clown makeup, putting on my super oversized red shoes, gluing on my rubber nose, and a night of passionate lovemaking. Oh, and by the way, if you laugh at this, then your sense of humor is like mine. Send me a message. Let's chat. Okay. Let's send this message out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. I didn't want to hear, come on, man. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted out of you. That's great. No, that's uh, that's good. I sent one like this one time. I, I my buddy, I, I like I said, we played the game where we rode down the road and I wrote the responses, and um, and my buddy uh, got a bite out of a message similar to this, like like got the girl, like hmm. she was like that's hilarious. You do I have a sick sense of humor too, and they went on and had like a normal conversation where I, that I wasn't part of, and like he banged her. Nice, nice. I gotta find her again. Give me a second. Everybody does the South part nice. Like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> like the one that they do when they talk about like a female teacher having sex with like a fifteen year old male. Oh, right. yeah. Nice. Nice. Totally not a crime. Totally not a crime. You don't think Do when I was I, so I'll tell it from this point of view and judge me this way. When I was fifteen, one of my buddies banged a female counselor at baseball camp who was like twenty three. He loved it. We all thought he was the baddest motherfucker alive, and you know, what of it? I, I don't know what to say. Like, like, like he was. You know, here's a dude who's already, you know, having sex with girls his own age. He's not a. He's not like some like, you know, some some gentle lamb in the or anything. This is an experienced guy, and now he's just having sex with an older woman. Yeah, I didn't see. Any, we had no problem with it. We all thought, like I said, we thought he was a badass. I went to school with these two guys, and they apparently had sex with like a thirty-five-year-old housewife, who at the time to me was, you know, ancient, but not anymore. Anyway, uh, they had this thing. They called themselves gladiators because they had, they like repeatedly had sex with her all the time. It was like an after-school activity. Um, they were, I'll say, sophomores and juniors in high school. And that you, they would have like you, they'd have code word like to each other. They'd be like, "Dude, I'm I'm in that like a gladiator," and that apparently was a reference to them having sex with this woman. But later, they kind of felt bad about it and ashamed of it and embarrassed about the thing. And I, there, there's an experience and sophistication gap between a grown up and a teenager that makes them kind of vulnerable and easy to take advantage of. And that's the other side of it. See, now, I painted having sex with minors as a wonderful thing that everyone could enjoy. And then Woody just ripped the rug right I out from under there. Right? And <laughs> ruined it for everyone and hit us right you in know, the feels. Uh, I want to so do this. Let me. Uh, I got something for Lefty. Like, I, I'm not saying that it's right or uh, that it's right at all. I'm just sharing that experience in which. I, uh, you that know guy, what? Like, all joking aside, there is a thing about that. Like, I knew another guy. Um, he apparently had sex with one of the substitute teachers who came in. And he was a high school senior, and she was like 23 or something. So I don't even think it was legal. He might have been 18. But it was just like he was such a boss, right? He was a legend because this woman came in. She was a sub. She was gorgeous. Every guy in high school was like hitting on her, and he had already had it. And yeah, that's – because as a student, and I know a lot of our viewers are students – the teacher is like a, a higher tier being, you mm -hmm. know. They, they 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 have so much power over a student. Even when you're a 17, 18 year old senior in high school, most of us still looked at that, you know, 32 year old pencil neck motherfucker teaching English as God. You know, he could throw us in the hole. He could expel us from the high school if he suspended us one more day. You had to be careful around this guy. So, yeah, being a teacher would be, it's it's a notch up. 
<laughs> Did y'all see the one I picked out for Lefty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what we've got here. So, She's BBW, right? What's her name? What does that stand for? Big, Big Beautiful, beautiful woman. woman. Big Beautiful Woman. Mm-hmm. And if she's black, you just add another B. <laughs> That's what it is. Maybe B B W. Go ahead, Lefty. Work your charm. <sighs> I, 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 this woman strikes me as one. You can't. You can't Winx, write a love letter you, to her. Would huh? you? Would you make? Not because happen? of that. Not because of that. I mean, about me. Just ask. First date. Just ask. <laughs> yeah, Winx, she went lazy you? on this profile. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Does, does she, do I have a first name? Um, ba, 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 ba. LaFonda. Uh, let me go back to her. Just she a signer one. First name, uh, she does not have her name listed. Uh, she has her personality as diva. Her profession as unemployed. There's a very important question. Wings, If we, would you have sex with this woman if we hooked it up? I, I, I physically couldn't, Kyle. Okay, so, so this is a joke one then. Why yes, couldn't um, you? Let, let me write mine you... out. Let me write mine out. Okay. I, I literally physically couldn't. Did you see the picture number four? I say you open. I would have to by... have like a penis the size of John Holmes. I think you should open by calling her a stereotypical name. Just but guessing. Wasn't Shailene roughly that size? Shailene had a big old butt, and she Shailene was like three twenty. This girl was easily over four hundred. Okay. And like um. I, I feel bad for that Toyota Corolla in like picture number four. Just, <laughs> just really she needs herself an F one fifty or maybe a three quarter <laughs> no, ton. If she gets, just imagine if like me and her going on a date sitting in that Corolla. The <laughs> if the two of you were in that Corolla, that'd be awesome. <laughs> it would look like you cook marshmallows instead of birdcage. <laughs> That's a good mental image. Everybody can picture that. People are so want to go, want so want to see that Corolla picture. I, there's not much to it. I can try and we'll yeah, see. It's, on just a, a, it's just a very um, large woman standing next to a tiny car. Like she, she like makes the car look small. This is like three thousand pound piece of machinery. Just I small. I had, a, uh, I had a teacher in high school, and um, I won't say her name. I almost did. She weigh. She was a big, big woman. She was. She was. She was above 300 pounds, and she was very short too, which made it even more pronounced. Like she was like five foot two or something, maybe. But she drove a Geo Metro. You should see what happens when she when 300 pounds sits down in a Geo Metro. I mean, this is a car so light. We we used to pick it up and hide it from her to fuck with her. Like like <laughs> eight of us, like eight or ten of us would get around her car and just literally pick her car up and hide it behind something. We used to take Geo Metros when I was in high school. And, uh, like, you'd be parked in a parking lot, and, you know, you, you pull into the spot, and that's, like, a normal thing. Well, Geometros were so small, we'd turn them 90 degrees so that they were, like, kind of stuck between the cars in front and behind them. That was the thing. Okay, so here's Lefty's response. Is it, is it okay if I read it? Um, Do yeah, it. Sure. Is there any... Uh, read okay. through it first, and you decide. Read through it first. No, just, I don't want to. I just no, want to read it. No I, racial, I, like, I'm going to read the, I'm gonna read this shit blind. I don't no, care. And no, I'm there's no it. N-bombs, nothing like so, that. So I have not looked at it yet, but I'm going to read it no matter what. So let me right. let get this tilted so I, I can't move. Okay. Hey, girl, I was floored by your profile. Literally, I'm going to have to restructure the floor trusses in my place after you. But anyway, your profile is rather coy, which I like. I'm not going to be shy like most guys. I'm going to ask. What are you all about? <laughs> what do you like to do? Like the outdoors? Anything like that? Anything like uh, bonfires with I'm me? So I'll bring concerned. the bonfire to your front lawn. <laughs> Message me back if you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the bonfire <laughs> to the front lawn. Uh, will, you, will you bring? You know what the worst part <laughs> is? <laughs> Like, if, that message, if that message was a physical thing, it would be like a boxer who just kept punching this poor black woman <laughs> trying to find a date over and over. Like, pow, pow, pow. Like, put like a three-punch combo. He's like, <laughs> he's like, weird, racial. What was racial about that? The freaking oh KKK cross in the front yard? Who said anything about a KKK cross? <laughs> I certainly didn't. <laughs> 
I just she's probably a lady that doesn't like to walk many places. So I'll bring the bonfire to you. That's all. That's like all. Like the outdoors? Anything like bonfires with me? Out I'll, I'll bring with me, I'll bring the bonfire to your front lawn. Message me back if you're hungry. All right, that one was kind of a dick move. <laughs> you, you don't have to send that. You like, don't have to send I've that one. I've already sent it left to you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I can't believe he sent it. That's perfect. I did not oh. think that one was going to be a sender. No. It like, just got sent. what we're looking at so far on the Giazzo. <laughs> Lefty, that was strong. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Well done. I... I, that blew mine out Please, of the water. If you, if you fuck this girl, I want, uh, like, yeah, come That's on. not going to happen. That's to, it's totally Wings can hit it from behind. What happens? I, I mean, like, a girl that big? A girl that big, if she's already had probably, sex, she already knows the geometry of how to do it. She already knows how to get it done. Yeah, she's that big, she probably tough. understands that she's not going to be pulling, like, Usher. Yeah. Have we she, written she, to all these girls? Mm-hmm. We've written to all these girls we've sent. We're, we're about five deep right now. And two of them have replied to us so far, or read our things. So. One read. Where do you see another read at? Uh, no, oh, you're right. It is one. We it's don't the, have access. the fourth one. No, there's a guy's no link. I just, for some mm-hmm. reason, I thought the bottom one had read too. So Tay Marie there. She, um, she read it, but she hasn't replied. She hasn't deleted it yet, though. But she got she she. But she did get offline. Without no. <laughs> well, that's a <laughs> shit. No, she's thinking about it. She's got to think. She's, she's like, "Fuck this shit. I'm done." <laughs> I want to find like the, the I want to find like the underside of, of this place. Let me find the underbelly. It. The underbelly, like the stuff that you look at and be like, "Whoa, whoa." <laughs> you want to get a transsexual prostitute? We, the, I have one here, and I'm passing him her up. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know why. Yeah, we could. I mean, Best we we have a world. proven track record with those. We can make that happen. All At of least, a sudden, you've yeah, got all, all, all of a sudden you've got you know a partner who makes a full income, has huge fake tits, and your wardrobe just doubled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do we need a whole new topic, or are we gonna keep uh, going on this? I guess Let's we're doing one more here. Okay. Let's see here. What are you looking for then? What's the uh, what constitutes the underside to you? Oh, the underside, dude. There's some ugly women on this side. Like, whoo! Give us, wow. yeah, get us the nastiest one you can find. Give us the 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 gross, like, freak one. Give us one that has like something wrong with her we've we've never heard of before, or or the name for it is in another language. Like a find one. What's Santee Cooper? That's where she Santee works. Santee Cooper is an electric company here. Wait, this is this is the underbelly to you? No, this is not the underbelly. Okay, because that's like like even even the girl I sent you, Lefty, was pretty cute. Like she she had a pretty face. Yeah, oh, yeah. this is the on. second most attractive woman we've looked at tonight, and the first most attractive woman we looked at tonight was badass. At one right. was oh, yeah. Are you sure we haven't talked to this woman already? No, this is a fresh one. Yeah, this is fresh. This, this is blonde fresh. with the uh, like bob haircut. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fishing? She doesn't even like, put the G on fishing. That's how badass the, she is. It's the South, man. Just, oh, here you go, Lefty. No, this is the a, underbelly. <laughs> oh, let's see the underbelly. Underbelly. Nice. Oh, oh hey, girl. What up? <laughs> These are the pictures she called out and decided to go with, right? Like yeah. <laughs> These are the ones that she decided to sell herself with. Now, if she had only used the picture that is second from the right and she had normal human being eyebrows, that would have been a good picture. <laughs> like, I, I feel bad for these kind of people. Like, I can overlook a lot of things. Like, I don't really care if you're like 300 pounds or 400 pounds. As long as you get got a nice personality and you're very pretty, or you're pretty in the face, I can overlook that. Mm-hmm. I don't care that you maybe have a kid as long as you're willing to take care of it. But when you're this irresponsible and you look this bad, this girl doesn't look like she take care of herself. She doesn't. Yeah, she looks rough. She has some bad pictures too, right? Like um, that third one when she shows off her double chin, she's just holding her neck wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, here's like lots of people her get a double chin if you either. do that. 
Her, her, her goals in life are to go to school and find a good job. Welcome to America. <laughs> I'm a country day. girl, but I like all kinds of music. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I am a country girl, but I like all kinds of music. I almost wish she had said, I'm a country girl, but I like all kinds of people. So what she needs to do is she needs like an optometrist and get those eyes fixed. Oh, does she have an ocular alignment problem? Dude, one eye is looking over there, and one <laughs> eye is looking over there. <laughs> That's the definition of an oh, ocular alignment problem. Yeah. Huh. I'm a I, mean, like, girl, I feel like I'm... if I were to punch her like right in the forehead, it would like line them up for her, and then, then she like give me money. Let's it's yeah. Not no, it doesn't work like that. Wiley Coyote, slow down. You know what you'd get if you did that? Arrested. That's I know. I understand that. What it is, like eyes like that. There's like there's like ligaments behind your eyes, and they're like they're just too tight, like this. They had to like cut them, <laughs> let the ligaments go in. Stan had that problem. That's actually that's actually almost exactly true. Yes, that's exactly what the problem is. What it is just just the, the ligaments are too tight, and it like pulls the eye. You know what she's great. She's got though great field of vision. It's like she's pl playing a PC. Absolutely. Game or you Absolutely. have a blind like spot. A, on her nose, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't matter. Like she's like, how's anything gonna get there? Cause she's got that big praying mantis field Dude, of view going like on. She's 300 pounds. <laughs> Shit gets Look, let me let me say this right now. Let, let me explain to everybody how evolution works. If if we were living in fallout times, like the whole world got nuked, and we were all just walking in the wilderness, that woman would be more likely to survive than us because she could see the predators coming. The, no, the coyotes mm -hmm. are gonna sneak up on her. So eventually. Her kind would be the ones who reproduce <laughs> together, and all human beings would look like that, and they would call us narrow eyes, and they would segregate us. But that woman looks like she tops out at three and a half miles per hour. But she's a fucking tank. You think you could take her down? <laughs> she tanks damage, dude. That's all she does. She, you, there are no predators a couple in North times America that could take I mean, that like, down. You can't see it, but the picture, the fourth picture says dolled up as the tagline. Oh, that, oh. no. <laughs> No. Hey, sugar, I'm all dolled up. Wanna go to the dollar store? <laughs> oh my god, that's funnier to me because I actually hear shit like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I, that's you know, I've heard shit like that before too. You want to see some fun shit? Go to the south and sit outside the dollar store for about half an hour. You'll oh, see dude. some shit. The dollar like, stores right here put the clothing racks outside the store. When they open. You really, and, and if you're careful, if, if you really want to do it, you, you have to find a dollar store that's actually near a Walmart. So you want to find people who weren't good enough to go to Walmart. <laughs> like, like they're, They were like, well, I want to go out, but not Walmart dressed up. I mean, no, I ain't getting ready for that. Let's just go to the dollar store. All right. No, nah, we'll dollar store's too fancy. Let's go to Dollar General. Uh-uh, let's go to Fred's. All right, let's go. <laughs> that's, that's, the total, that's the conversation that Southern white trash women have. And then they go to Fred's. Or the Dollar General, and they do the shopping. And she wants a maybe dinner and a movie, and let it run its course. What is that supposed to mean? She wants to lift. That's what that means. Yeah, but dinner's gonna cost you like two, three hundred dollar with this chick. So okay. you can send pictures of this thing, right? Like, like you could just send her a dick pic if you wanted. You could. Let's just open with that. <laughs> you tr I don't want to do that because you might get me banned. But we've already established that that's something we've that's acceptable. Wait, 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 wait I mean, we we sit some. I'm real saying if, if it's collateral, it happens. Lefty, lefty, are you timing out for the dick pic? No, right. I'm timing out because you're worried about getting banned wings. But you just sent a message to a fat black lady, in which you intimated that there will be some kind of bonfire <laughs> on her front lawn in the crime. south. And the hate picture crime. before that crime. was about clown sex. The letter before that was about clown yeah. sex. Yeah, you, so you're worried about it. But th those are okay, and those are okay. And then you, yeah, I, see, signed, like, I mean, you signed off that letter choice. saying, honk, basically, honk if you're hungry because you're fat. But now you're like, oh, dick pics. Uh, no. All right, so I'm often told I change the topics too quickly. But it's, it's been time. an hour and 20 it's minutes, time. right? It's time. Yeah, we could roll off this quicker if you wanted to. I, we tried yeah, to, we... and you held us on longer. Yeah, you okay. wanted one more. Fine, fine, fine. let's roll. All right. Uh, however, you know, if any of them message you back, I think we should return and, you know, spend maybe two or three minutes addressing it and then continue on our path. I think that's a good idea. All right, uh, we can talk about some gaming stuff. Grand Theft Auto, PS4, can't record gameplay. 
You can. Um, no. Hmm? Huh? No, well, I mean, not not naturally. The, the PS4 is going to ship with copyright protection, the HDCP protection, on the um, on the HDMI port. How how old is your news? Today. They're going to turn it off. It's an update. It's not going to. It's it's going to it's going to be turned off at some later date post release. Like, yeah, there's a lot of PS4 stuff that's like, well, someday in the future we're going to have cloud computing, and yeah, someday see, in the future we'll scary. have dedicated servers for COD, and someday in the future we're going to have. Um, you know, we're going to be able to record your gameplay over HDMI. I'm getting and, Xbox One. Really? I'm getting both. Everyone calls yeah, me a PS4 I can't hater. afford both out the out the box. Yeah, it that it, it is fucking expensive. I mean, we're, it's, mm-hmm. you're looking at probably a thousand bucks to get both out the gate. Yeah, a good it, thousand. It, yeah, it's nine hundred naturally, but it, you know, it gets some games and some controllers and stuff. And yeah, I'm getting three. I'm getting uh, I'm getting four. That's right. So I'm getting uh, two PlayStations and two Xboxes. Why is that? Let me get one, dog. I'll be needing extras. He's giving oh. away stuff. Are you giving them away? Are you destroying them? Are you? you got does it blend? You destroy one on day one. You got to. <laughs> does it blend? I haven't decided yet. Okay. That's gonna get you the most views. So I pre-ordered one of each, and then I don't know. Maybe a a road to Xbox One or a road to PS4 could be in my future to try to get one early. Mm-hmm. Uh, if Wings hits it with this Walmart chick, we've got like an in in to absolutely. That shit early. Oh, see that now. I have pointed that out in uh, past dates when we were trying to do the road to a game or whatever. I've always said, you know, if we really wanted to do this, there's two ways to do it. One, and they both require a lot of commitment. You've either got to get yourself a job at GameStop and be working it for like a month and a half, you know, because you don't know when you're gonna get hired. <laughs> and work like some fucking... Ocean's Eleven shit. Yeah, right. You've got to be like an undercover agent. Working this job just enough you don't so you don't get fired, but maintaining your normal human being operations, you know, with your normal <laughs> life, your real life, <laughs> and you go back to your GameStop life just to get Call of Duty early. You could do that, or you could start a, an intimate relationship with someone at a GameStop and, or a Walmart. And I think that's what uh, we're trying to do with Wings of Redemption here now. We don't care if he fucks her; we just want the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Wings, you can't fuck it up. If you end up dating this chick, you've got to wait until a major you release of that, some kind. You make that pussy just rain. That's what you do. You make sure she sticks around for the long term. I want well, you to put that, make out. them nut. I want you to put that make them nut instantly tongue kiss on them. And I want her to just... I want there to... I <laughs> want her, didn't think that was real. You saw that? I, I, I saw it on, vagina. oh my god, Sex Facts, the Twitter account. It's true. You can make a girl nut her by kissing her. To look like a water sprinkler. Well, that's easy. <laughs> I mean, like that's, that happens every time. I usually have to take like a shirt I was wearing off and like wipe it down before I, I get want, to go to it. <laughs> dude, do you, do you put your put your bandana on. Put your bandana on for just a second. Let's see if I'm. Where the hell is it? You don't have it. You lost it. It was like an He's hour ago. Got the ago. shirt, the no, necklace, like the bandanas coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so I want you to be making that pussy. Rain and just go to town so much that you need that to keep the vaginal juices out of your eyes. Like, that's the requirement. You're like, hang on, baby. Let me put my pussy bandana on. (laughs) It's time for Big Daddy Raphael to take take time on that ass. Teenage Turtle Power. Ninja Lover. We gotta ask you this. Like, I haven't got an email yet. What's up with the porn, Woody? Porn? Last yes, last week we had a porn offer, and I told you to shoot him my email. Oh, I don't think I. I don't know if I did. Fuck, Woody! Damn, Woody! Come on now! You oh. tr- all right, it. all right, all right. That's okay, but we'll we'll get Wait, that going next week. But maybe but I will wrong. say this. Speaking of porn, I was given a gift to pass on to all of you uh, by one of our listeners, and he he gave us the username and the password to a mofos.com account. Mofos.com. So, is that a yes. porn thing? It is a premium <laughs> pornography website that has like full screen 1080p high definition pornography. So and I must say, I, I had never watched pornography in 1080p HD. I thought that was just silly. I was like, you know, whatever. It's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, put it You're out there. You're saying there's porn on the internet? 
Yeah, I right. wouldn't know. I have no idea. Yeah, no I don't think we all can log on at the same time, can we? I yeah. call tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, where, it, where's the I, link? I, I, I've got. I'm looking for it. I took a picture of the the message. It's in my phone. I'm I'm looking for it. I'm uh, I'm good. <laughs> I think I don't need to be. That's all right. I'm putting it in the chat. I'm put- like, I got a little bit of a porn addiction. I don't really need to be porn <laughs> <taste better. laughs> All right. So this is the username. Wait, this isn't going out on the air, is it? No, 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 no. All right, perfect, because yet. that'll destroy the account. <laughs> and the password is this. Wow. <laughs> And seriously, like, like I want you gentlemen to take a look at what 1080p. Oh, I will. <laughs> pornography looks like, and I want you to tell me if it's worth the money. I don't know how much. <laughs> I don't know how much it costs because we're not paying. But ten dollars a month? Would you pay ten bucks a month for this level of pornography? Now I will say this: it's 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 not as varied as I would like it to be. You can't get any. Are we supposed involved. to look at That's it now? That's a problem. You know, I don't care. Oh, it's up uh, to you. I, I didn't know it was part <laughs> of the show. It seems a little risky to open pornography on your screen during the live stream. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> way to go. <laughs> I didn't see this. Like the first thing you see opening this up is you, it goes the porn postal store and it shows networks and the first thing is brazers for yeah, click, seventy click damn way. dollars you can get unlimited brazers. Yeah, that's the, that's the level of uh, account we have. Click through to mofos. It's in like the top right somewhere I think. You want to continue to mofos. Oh, you didn't give a link. I was just going to Google for mofos. Is that? Oh, it's it's mofos dot com. Does anybody else notice how Wings Wings's internet supposedly had trouble loading plenty of fish, <laughs> but then once there's HD porn on the table, everything's fucking golden, baby. Here's the thing, though, Lefty. Plenty of fish is a, a site that has something like 12 million people on at one time. Mm-hmm. It gets slow. I <laughs> know. I know. Um. The uh, the best part about this website is when you raise the video quality all the way, that level is called fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I have a question for yes. you. It's unrelated to this. Shoot. Okay. Um, all right. You're going to have sex with two girls at one time. Their ages add up to 24. What ages are they? When you say have sex, what do I have to do? I don't know. What's the you 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 these you're the you're the master and commander here. You have to be clear about the rules. What what do I have to do to each of these individuals for it to be sex? I uh, They have to make you finish. I'll, I'll I'll just take it that far. All right. So, and it adds up to 24? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck an 18 year old and then uh, like get a six year old to jerk me off, I guess. <laughs> it sounds like a good plan, I guess. Right? Like 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 you know if she doesn't eat, you could like blind you know I'm, this is a forced scenario, right? Where there's like a gun to my head and they're like we're gonna kill all three of you if you don't do it. And the 18 year old's like fuck me, fuck me. And the six year old's like I'll jerk you off. And you know you're just like all right, let's do this shit. I like it. I like the way you went with that. I think you did good. I, you know I was gonna say. Uh, somebody wrote 14 and 10 on this question, and, and it made perfect sense when I saw it. Like, neither one of them was... I guess the 10-year-old is so young that they'd be... Oh, oh, fuck, they'd Christ. both be traumatized, right? Guess what, kids? Your childhood's ruined, and you'll never reach adulthood now. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be good. 18 and 6 isn't bad. Yeah. Let's see what this 1080 porn looks like. <laughs> Look at Wings. Make the wings. porn's like glowing on his face. It's <laughs> <laughs> make, you should make Wings full screen so you can, you can gauge this reaction here. Because I'm telling you, there is a big difference. Turn it up a little. Can we hear it? Can we? We can yeah, listen to audio. Oh, they don't get just you know. That's part of the show. They know that. Your big daddy you're Wings, baby. This is your, this is your house. Fucking roll it. This is your house. <laughs> hey, mm-hmm. you turn it up. What do you turn up? See, it? See how Jackie likes it. I know how Jackie likes it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, don't don't give him home. that idea. Don't give him that idea. <laughs> I just I just want to see the reaction when Jackie comes in, like give him something to drink, and he's got like porn on, and she's like, he's like, no, baby, it's for the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm logging in. Oh dear. If we're using the my backup recording this week, now you know why. Uh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why, I like what? how the camera pans out re instantly when he logs in. Uh huh. Damn, there's a Kapska. <laughs> Is yeah, that what I mean, those squiggly things? It's weird when you log in. There's gonna be like a green button you need to press because they're gonna try to sell you shit right away. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna try to direct you to one of the other pay sites, but you just want to click straight through to Mofos. All right. Um. Click uh, click videos on the the bar and then go to like top rated, and there's a very nice <laughs> anal feature at the number one spot. Oh yeah, nothing like some good anal. Yeah. Riding Miss Rider, too hot to handle. Yeah, Kyle, step aside. I know what I'm doing, all right? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bypass your suggestion and pick uh, She Works Out. I've seen that one, too. It's the blonde, is it the blonde chick um, in outside outdoors, right? It is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Warning, yeah. sexual content. Oh, no. I click MILFs, and like I picked the one with my favorite name. I think her name was Jackie Joy. And like, it's just really bright. It's like there's nothing you see on like Pornhub. By the way, one of the one of the good things about this is if there's a specific porn star you like, all of her videos are, will be there in a category. No, her name was Jack Me Joy. I'm sorry. This Jack guy needs a steady can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning the quality up to fuck yeah. What a woody response. Like, you know, there's not enough fill light in this show. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really need to be bouncing, right? Like, oh, man. Yeah, this is like a handheld DSLR, I think. Watching. There's definitely, there's definitely a step up in quality there. I mean, so, uh, thank you, It looks buddy. so lifelike. Um, give me some floor lights, and uh, I, can, I can get you some 1080p porn going on. Oh my god. <laughs> Some oh, GoPro god. footage? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, to the uh, the PKA fan who sent me that, thank you very much, buddy. And now you all know that I do read my messages. There it is. <laughs> and I like it when you give me free shit. I really do. Like, if I love free shit too. Free yeah, stuff's some of my favorite stuff. See, it's not a matter of people will say things like, "Don't you have enough money?" Of course, I, I'm, I'm, I have a stable income. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. But who doesn't like, you know, like Christmas morning style prizes and gifts? Like you get a gift out of nowhere. So I love it when people give me free shit, even if it's like something silly. Like some guy sent me like a duct tape wallet one time. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, this thing's cool as shit." He had like printed out a picture of me and put it in a little window in the thing. It was ridiculous. And then you know somebody sent me like five thousand dollars for the paintball gear, and that was real nice too. Damn, you get <laughs> what? When? Where did this come from? We went from duct tape walls to like getting fucking hooked up. <laughs> Audio Technica, how about you send me some nice gifts, huh? Yeah, gifts. I could use some nice floor lamps to light my house a little bit better because tungsten sucks ass for filming. Um, I could use a DSLR with like a camera, like a little mo microphone remote. Um, give me a, a camera stand with that. No, Wings doesn't need any of those things. What Wings needs are costumes. So if you work in like a costume store or something like that, he needs uh, like a, like a 4x or a 5x costume, uh, like clown costumes, Lincoln stuff, uh, big overcoats, anything like that. So matter of fact, let's hear videos. It. What Wings actually needs is I need a a suit of some sort, a, a nice old timey looking suit. That's you know that's got at least. I don't know. Probably maybe Armani. Uh, you know, like a, a vintage cut, but but Canale. you know, modern at the same time. We'll say HD is better. Yeah, HD is much you, better. And you prefer HD, Woody? What'd you say? You prefer the HD? I do. I have a preference for HD now. Damn you, Kyle. My favorite part is that if there is a certain porn star that you're, you know, you're interested in, or like somebody you've heard of, or something like that, you type in their name, and there they are. And it's like all their stuff. Nice. That's a cool website. And I really appreciate the guy who sent me all that. Well, thank you. Uh, Anybody else wants to send more websites? We can get a, there's a whole <laughs> list of shit we ain't got access to here. Yeah, guys, if you've got <laughs> if you've got an account that's you know one of those things where like lots of people can share the account, but uh, you know it's free for you know us to be on there. You know, you can pay for it, and we can just be your HBO Go buddies, something like that. Hey, look, okay. it's HBO Go. I, I'll but, put you on my friends list. I'll give you something. I won't. I I I will do is no it, such thing. <laughs> is it time for the lightning round? It yeah, is. Lightning round. Dear. Oh, that's good. I I got one. Dan, you're fast. I'm at zero. I, 
Usually, I, f I feel like the last couple weeks I've been sprinting ahead. Not hmm. this one. Hmm. I just reached one. for my pen and pad, and the last thing that was on here was last week's. <laughs> Can I go first? Oh, uh, that's right. We, we we alternate. No, we usually do a like a stripe. You know, left you do true. five. Why do I yeah. always get that mixed up? I always feel like we're alternating, but we're not. Okay. Um, I have one. I have two. I got one for all of you. I also have the uh, subreddit questions. I have questions from my Facebook. A couple of mine are from the subreddit. Night. A couple of you are from the subreddit. That's cheating. I made a po I made the post on subreddit. <laughs> no, you didn't. Look at the number one post on the subreddit right now. It's from a guy named Ricarli15. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in like pirate mode. I don't understand some of those words. I know, right? You're like stow. <laughs> what, what? What is stowing? <laughs> yeah, man. I, I must. I might have clicked on you. Last time I looked, it was pinned at the top, but it was. Uh, I asked, and there was a bunch of responses. I got a couple of those. I'm thinking I need question number two. I'm on, I got three. I actually had a Facebook question for you, Woody. Like it was about your GTA 5 video. You know the one where you said why you haven't bought it yet? Like your comment section on that video was horrible. Was it? Yeah, dude. Yeah, mm. if they hate, I turn away. I don't. I don't read. Okay. Let's see. Like the popular one, most people sent me. It was like, "What is life after YouTube?" I got five. I have two. I have five as well. You bastards. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to add oh, a that's sixth a good one. one. I got six. Here's one that somebody could probably ask in case y'all running low. It's not fair if you, if you ask yourself the question. Interesting. Help Lefty out here. Lefty usually struggling behind. What? Not this usually... week. This week I'm the laggard. I have three. Yeah, I've got six, man. Six here. What are you crawling up my ass for? Just... Bam. Bam. I'm sorry, son. When you get off that GTA 5, let's get back on that arm, son. When people be watching my Grand Theft Auto 5 Let's Plays, YouTube.com slash Lefty OX. Son, you... schedule upload the motherfuckers. Come play with your boy. Schedule upload is broken. My shit works. My shit doesn't. It doesn't appear in sub boxes properly. Or maybe it's like, Is maybe that... there's like a one or two day max thing. Because like when I set scheduled uploads for longer than like two days, oh, they don't appear in sub Maybe boxes. that's why my video's been doing so trashy. I schedule upload everything. Yeah, I think scheduled uploader is having some What really if that issues. was it? What if you went back to like unlisted for the first 10 minutes and then private and like you got like 80,000 views? See, I just upload straight public. Just bam. Goes. I don't like I like to put like me I like to schedule upload when I'm I just I'll just throw schedule upload on it and let it schedule whatever the fuck it wants then I'll adjust it to where I want it to come out so Well right you kind of have to schedule your uploads because of your internet I mean like if you if you went straight to live upload you would have to start your uploads at like you know whenever you wake up and that ties up your internet for the rest of the day while you upload a video I don't need that bad no more lefty I have oh, the, okay. the business line How many you got Woody? One, two, three. I have four. I feel like I need one more. Okay. Um. By the way, PK fans, don't let us forget to do some kind of PK plays. I like that idea a whole lot. If you guys don't mind me imposing. Ooh, wait. Explain it. A PK. Uh, PK, PK plays. Play. Yeah. Just like you know, we play something. And oh. 
if we want to upload it. Just you know that idea we've kicked around. It's just yeah, I'd we've love had that. a lot of good ideas and we just never done it. And then we can all record so, separately if we want and upload it. So there's a few different games that apply to it, but I guess GTA uh, multiplayer whenever it comes out is the perfect one, right? Ooh, yeah. Oh, but what I awesome. say? Well, you two don't have it though. I've got mine. You probably. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've got it. Like, I can, Walmart's like 10 minutes away from my house. I'm sure they have it in stock. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah, yes. I'm ready. Who's first? I'll go first. Go. Wings, what is your cool. dream first date? My dream first date? Mm-hmm. Uh, she's ready to marry me. She's like 88, and she's uh, got one foot in the grave and the other on banana pill. <laughs> she's stinking <laughs> rich. <laughs> okay. All right, you have to choose one person to lead humanity on an exhibition to deep space. Who is it and why? This is the future of humanity now. You've got to leave the, the planet. Who's leading that spaceship? Who is the commandant? And this is a hard question because you got to go, like, do I, do I want an astrophysicist or do I want somebody that's, like, known in survival? Like, my first instinct would say Les Stroud. But, like, he probably doesn't know shit about surviving in outer space. <laughs> probably not. He's been on Earth the whole time. Not at all. You need leadership <laughs> skills. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need good leadership skills. Like, who would be the perfect leader? I know. The guy from, uh, they used to be the uh, senator for New York. What was his name? The guy who showed his dick on Twitter all the time. Anthony, Anthony Weiner. Weiner. Yeah, he was a congressman. Anthony Weiner. That's my Weiner. pick. Okay. He, Not... he, he's got the balls. He does. He has desire. I've and seen every, him. every politician that has gotten their dick sucked or did something sexually in the public eye, has been a great politician. Can't go wrong with that. Lefty? I guess so. Um, Wings, what do you want out of Kyle's gift drawer? Oh, what do I want out of Kyle's gift drawer? I'll tell you what I want out of Kyle's gift drawer. I want that stupid bump fire stock mag he was supposed to send me like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got a Christmas gift that year. <laughs> the had to come pick his up. <laughs> I, and I left it there. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, and I don't think I ever took it home. Really? Yeah. I did get the zombie spike, though. Oh, yeah, that's good. Dude, I've always wanted one of those. I'd, that's, that's such a cool attachment to a four assault rifle. Absolutely. It turns your regular semi auto AR 15 into a fully automatic, like 900 ri- rounds per minute machine gun. Legal. I used it. I used it. That's I awesome. made a video about it. Anyway. It's easy to use. Uh, uh, right Wings, you said that you picked up Payday 2 and you've played it. What do you think thus far? It is one of the most boring games I've ever played. I mean, the fact is, it the the tutorial level of the game itself is really fucking dull. I was falling asleep during the long ass tutorial, and then when I actually got in the game, I was level ten before I realized it because I jumped into like three heists that were already over, and I got like three hundred thousand cash payouts. Okay. I was like, ah, it's horrible, uh, dude. All right, I have two more questions. One is a follow up to the to the first. What is the worst thing someone has said to you? On plenty of fish. What is the worst thing that somebody? No, no, no. Qu- scratch that. I want to ask the other one first. What is the worst thing that you have said to someone on plenty of fish? Not counting the ridiculous messages that we sent tonight. Oh shit! I was about to say I, I told a black girl that uh, I was going to put a bonfire on her for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad, but that doesn't count. Oh, the worst thing I said to anybody was um, I. I basically pointed out and said, you're never going to get a date with your profile the way it looks like this. I mean, like, your profile is so unflattering. The pictures that you picked pretty much depict somebody that is not sexual or even desirable in any way, shape, or form. Would you like me to help you with your profile? Because the girl could not write. She was really heavy, and she picked pictures of her that did not flatter whatsoever. And I'm like, you're wasting your time. Wow, that's that's harsh. Now, what is the worst thing that someone has said to you on Plenty of Fish? Nothing. That's the worst response? The worst, the worst response you can do to a guy on Plenty of Fish is to be like, um, read and delete or unread delete. Like that's, mm-hmm. that's the ones that suck the most because they looked at your profile picture and said, I would never see myself with this person. Goodbye. At least, at least they say thanks, but no thanks. There's a chance. You leave that chance of glimmer in their heart. That maybe, you know, somewhere down the line you can get together, even if it doesn't happen. Hmm. Is that it? That's it. Is it my turn? I'll Ooh. go. Okay. Um, would you trade fifty thousand dollars for your COD skills? Would I trade fifty thousand dollars for my COD skills? 
Mm-hmm. Like I have fifty thousand dollars and I get to keep my COD skills? No. If I give you fifty thousand dollars, will you give me your Call of Duty skills because I'm like a magical troll? Oh hell yeah, dude. The fuck Call of Duty. Alright. Um what happened on Twitter? My Twitter? Yeah, you deleted it. What happened? Well, I, I did actually did a video on this at youtube.com slash usual slash wings of redemption. But <laughs> <laughs> I did a video on it. What it is is like, dude. My channel stopped growing two and a half years ago, and I kind of correlated it with the fact that I opened my Twitter two and a half years ago, right around the time Black Ops 1 came out. And, um, well, Black Ops 1 came out, and I started using Twitter more actively, and I and I put a hand-to-hand -hand that it was there. And, like, I found myself, when I wasn't doing a whole lot of work, like, the last nine months, I haven't been my normal self. It's not been the Wings of Redemption you've seen for the first four years, you know, three, four video uploads a day. Usually upbeat, usually doesn't give a fuck. I've been kind of turned into this emotional sour person, and like it's it, it, it instead of putting videos out and be like fuck it, if they don't like it, don't watch it. I worry about what everybody thinks about me. I worry about how every person reacts to it, and I think a lot of that comes from Twitter itself. Twitter has like the social media backlash that nobody talks about. I mean, people like um, like Charlie Sheen got affected by it. I mean, he didn't get affected too negatively by it, but it was there. Actors get affected by it. Where you can say one thing wrong and it can ruin everybody's perspective of you, and I think that megaphone was hurtful to whatever chance I had to recuperate my YouTube channel. So I decided to take a break from it to see if not having Twitter would help me Lightning in the long around. run. Okay, so basically you thought it was holding you back. You thought dealing with all the hate on Twitter was holding you back on YouTube. Mm-hmm. All right, if you could swap places with anyone on the show, who would it be and why? Kyle. Because he's got stable income, and he's got, you know, he's not fat, and he, he looks right. like he's in that position where he could be athletic, but he doesn't have to be athletic. Okay, fair enough. Um, Obama, Clinton, and Bush. Fuck one, marry one, kill one. Um, I'd have to fuck Obama because, you know, I've always heard black people are better in the sack. Um, I'd probably marry Bill Clinton because he's he's pretty good at bouncing the budget, and you know I'd always wanted to marry an accountant, and I'd probably kill Bush because he pretty much destroyed all the good work Clinton did. You totally got Obama and Bush backwards, or Obama and Clinton backwards. If you're gonna <laughs> fuck one, it's gotta be Clinton, right? And if you're gonna marry one, Obama's a great husband. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, Mr. Wings Redemption. Slick Willie will make you spray all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever? Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, who was FPS Billy in your last uh, in your sixty-six thousand video? I believe it was sixty thousand video. FPS Hillbilly. Yes, that's FPS Stan. Hillbilly. That's, the, that's the guy Woody didn't want to go to his house. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that guy looks scary. I, I, I don't blame him. Okay, <laughs> have you ever seen an ugly pussy? And tell us about that. <laughs> I have. Seen, I wouldn't say I've seen an. Well, a phys, a a visually displeasing vagina of such proportions that you are simply enamored. Well, that, that could, I know where you want me to go with this one. I'm gonna go the complete opposite way. I've seen no. a pussy in porn that looks like somebody hit her between in the legs and the neck. In real life, though, have you ever seen an unattractive? <laughs> An unattractive pussy? I mean, I've been with a girl that had like a, um, had like almost like a birthmark on it. Like it was like almost brownish and it went across the, uh, the, the, the meat curtains as you like to call them. And, uh, that one was I don't like to call them that. <laughs> um, have you ever seen a situation that some would say resembles sort of roast beef? <laughs> or, um, or just a very large, um, external labia. Have you ever encountered that? Or, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, in your I'm going to skip this one because she <laughs> really want me to talk about that. Alright, on to Woody then. Alright, so my first one was why close Twitter. We'll skip it. Um, if you were in a movie theater and you wanted to do a mass killing, what weapon would you choose? Explosives. Alright. Um, what sex you, toy you, adds you the most... Born death? No, 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 round. no. What sex toy adds the most value to the session? Anal beads. I'm, I'm going to give, give this advice for the anal beads. Like, what you want to do if you get a girl that's, that's kind of cool, but she's sticking stuff up her butt, what you do is you put you put it up the butt. They have they're they're various varying shapes. 
So they're different sizes. They go, they start small and they get bigger. You get that last big one about midway through into that in the anal cavity, and then you you go down and eat the pussy or you finger it if you don't like eating the pussy. And once you get her to that point, she's about ready to go. When she starts going, pop those anal beads out one at a time. You'll like the results. Well, if your wings are redemption, you'll like them. <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> I'm, but, but for those of you who don't own a uh, steam cleaner, you might not <laughs> like the results. <laughs> yeah, be slow probably when pulling them out. That would be. It's really slow, but what it what it does is it, it like causes a double sensation, and she usually multiple orgasms. All righty. Would you rather be a pro athlete or a musician? Musician. I think musicians get way more tail than a pro athlete, and a pro athlete's career is much shorter. If you were to choose the, I'm sorry. If you were to change the YouTube layout slash site, what would you change about it? I would change them to promote Wings of Redemption instead of PewDiePie. I, I knew you'd do that, but no, more seriously, like, what would you change about YouTube to make it better? What would I change about YouTube to make it better? Um, I, I, I like the sub box. I don't like the sub box the way it's set up right now. It's, it's set up to have home run videos. YouTube was much more friendly in my book to people that created content on the daily about two and a half years ago, three years ago when they did the five box layout. So when you when you upload a video, it popped your most recent one up and four of your most in your previous, so you get to see five people. And it didn't take much more room up than you know a standard five piece because it was just all videos. But people could see the videos they missed, and they would go back and check them there. And when they went to the one sub box thing, I lost a lot of views from residual views. Uh, that's all I have. I could go to um, the Reddit site and, and get some of the other ones. There should be a bunch of them on there. Uh, what was it? Oh, here's one. <laughs> Let's see. Is this thing actually really popular? You asking me questions? Yes. Yeah, I think it's become mm-hmm. a thing. Yeah, they like the lightning round. Um, if you come home one day and a YouTube personality is broken into your home... What's your course of action? It cannot involve a shotgun. This is obvious. Just bring the pistol in from the truck. <laughs> <laughs> if you could erase one day from your life, when would it be and why? I could erase one day from my life. This is this is a hard one for a lightning round question. Isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like it though. Uh, one day. I mean, like, part of me wants to say the syndicate thing, but at the same time, that's nothing in the big scheme of things. Mm-hmm. One day in my life. I would like to erase the day that I decided I wanted a new truck about two years ago. Really? That's the day? That's the day. I mean, like, up until that point, I was like, my truck works, it's functional, but I got the truck fever because I seen that white F-150 on the Conway Ford lot, while I was at, I was up at Conway Ford with a buddy to get a get get an oil change in his car, and like I fell in love with it, and I went back the next week and they had sold it, so I went looking for the white F-150, and I found one in Charleston, just like it. I'm curious, after you bought your white F-150, did you think, oh my God, this is awesome, check out my truck, or did you think, oh my God, what did I do? Well, at the time, I was making a lot more money, and I didn't care. And like it, the black truck, I, the black truck's one where I got that feeling for. Like the the minute I signed the papers, I got a knot in my stomach, and it stayed there for like a week. I liked the black truck was wonderful. It's not that I didn't like it. Uh-huh. It's just it's like I just signed away something I don't know if I can pay for it or not. Because at the time, I the, what convinced me was one, it was on the spur thing, and two, it was. It was a truck I actually wanted. When I bought the white truck, I wanted the black truck. I mean, that's the actual car I wanted, but I, I, I wanted to be more fiscally responsible. So being fiscally responsible, I make the worst decision and buy the thing twice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so the white truck was cheaper than the black one? The white truck was marginally cheaper than the black one. I think I paid uh, 28000 for the white one, and the black one somewhere close to fifty. That's that is usually not, cheaper. Yeah, that's, that's not, not marginally yeah, cheaper. Yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa that's and like that's the white one I had. Dollars. The white one I was like fifteen thousand under. Like I only had to do like fifteen grand. 000. Huh? Yeah, it's almost double the price. It's twenty two thousand more. 
Yeah, I, I'm just saying, like I like I put ten grand down on the white one, so I owed like twelve thousand dollars, and the payments were like two hundred fifty bucks a month, and like, and like if I had the white one still right now, I wouldn't I wouldn't even be worried about selling it. Yeah, like, it, it was that it was that little of a, like an inconvenience versus it's nice to have. Yeah, you you did pretty well that first time around. I feel like yeah, that that's a payment that you can make it. You know, almost anywhere. Well, I did know. pretty well because I like I put a big down payment with it, and I did a lot of research, and like I did. I, I was up at that car dealership probably six hours because they didn't want to come off. Uh, I think they had it on the lot for 34. If uh, all right, let's. Uh, can I ask you a question, or do you have more, Woody? Uh, I could go either way. Um, so, what was the most painful uh, experience of your life physically, and what was the most painful experience of your life um, emotionally? I guess. The most painful experience of my life physically I actually just recently happened. It was my MRSA infection, and like. I'm, people are like, oh, that, well, that isn't that bad. Well, let me kind of give you an idea of what MRSA feels like compared to other things. I've broken my back, and I've also ruptured the muscles on my back on a trampoline. I didn't really break my back. I, mean, I kind of exaggerate there. I fell, and I um, <clears throat> I ruptured the T5, is 5, 4, and 6. All of them have cracks in it. Not necessarily in that order. Not not, not in that order, but they all, they all have cracks, and I actually have x-rays of that. And I, I still, they're still there. They, they, they all, all, all the um, laterals cracked from the fall. And I hurt my back on a trampoline because I, I, I was past the weight limit and it hit. And I was out off my feet both that those times over a month. And I was only on MRSA a week, and MRSA hurt so much worse. So one of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life. I mean, the only other feeling that I could even contemplate with that would be the time I was constipated and the turd went sideways on me. <laughs> like, um, that doesn't even make sense. Let me, let me tell. Let me tell the story. I had a really bad bout of constipation, and this was when I was on my diet in early 2011. I, w I started doing Slim Fast to replace my lunches. One thing I didn't learn about Slim Fast is it dehydrates you really, really badly. Like you have to drink a lot of water when you're on Slim Fast when you're placing it as meals, and I didn't do that. So I got dehydrated really bad. I'm talking about three or four turds deep. Like it just hurt to walk. So <laughs> I, I feared pooping deep. for about a week. So what I did is I ended up going to get a saline enema, and um, I had my grandma give me a saline enema, and it softened it up enough to pass, but it only got a little bit. So like it softened like the first three fourths of a turd. <laughs> So I get on the toilet and the saline enema like stimulates the muscles to actually make it come out. So I do it, it goes, and then that little piece, probably about this big, hits it and turns like that, and it spreads my butthole wide open. I fall <laughs> off the toilet and I hit my head onto the wall, and I call out for my grandma. I'm like, you might have to take me to the hospital. But what we ended up doing is she ended up sticking her finger up my button and mashing the turd up. <laughs> Now, I know how to ask a question, god damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Look at Woody's face. He's like, it's that so was awesome. Your grandmother merged the turd up by putting her finger in your butt? Yes. <laughs> so are you... <laughs> Wings got fingered by gangster grandma. <laughs> like this? <laughs> no, no, I was on the floor. I was on the. Floor. I my I just hit my head on the wall. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! clock. That was great. Wait, wait. it's like it's time. What did he to say? This. I my, I just hit my head on the floor because I came off the toilet because it it felt like somebody had like stuck their fist up my ass. And like it was just a shooting pain, and like, so, and I was like so on the floor, fetal my position hands and knees on the floor. Oh no, hands and all right, wait, 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 we get this. <laughs> did she put on a glove? She did have. She, my grandma was a house nurse for the longest time. Okay, so she so had you, gloves. She had you gloves. You were like yeah. this, head down on the floor, like it, you're in pain, like forehead on the floor. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now do the scorpion. What <laughs> <laughs> do you do the scorpion? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, that, and that so the most painfully emotional experience of your life? Most painful emotional experience Yeah, we got the uh, physical one out of the way when your grandma fingered you that time. So. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that would be the most painful emotional experience of my life as well. Yeah. But I'm well, guessing actually, that's not the case pain, for you. Dude, I was thankful for that finger to go up that butthole. 
Oh my god! I, I can't. I just can't. I'm, I yeah, can't. I need a I need a ten minute loop of that. <laughs> I was like, emotionally. I mean, like I'm just trying to think emotionally. Like um, the first breakup is is probably the worst one. I mean, that one kind of sucks. Are you talking about Shailene? Uh, Shailene wasn't my first breakup. Okay. Um. The first breakup with the poop in his butt from his grandmother. I, I can't believe that. That I was a emotionally. Emotionally was uh was my dog Peanut. Like um I used I used to work swing shifts at a at a place and I I had to go I had to go to work that night at eleven o'clock, and um I lay down in bed and I lay down in bed at probably some about seven to catch a nap before I go to work, and I get woke up about nine o'clock and my mother's in there crying, and what Peanut was a black toy poodle, a little miniature dog. And he had gotten off the porch when they were sitting outside, and he got hit by a car. And I had to go out there and shoot him because he was still twitching. Oh fuck, that's. And that was my friend, and and like that one really sucked. And like we buried him back here, and we put a little toy poodle behind a tree. That's awful. And uh, I don't know. That was my friend. I don't think I ever forgave my mother for that one. That's why Ginger never gets to go outside. Wow. So you had, that was a really emotional attachment you had to, to the dog. That sucks, yeah. man. I'm really yeah. sorry. Well, hey, at least you didn't freak out like my, did that, my dad did that time ago on a killing spree. <laughs> he killed every <laughs> dog within a, at least two blocks. Uh, yeah, that, one, that one sucks because like, then I had to go to a job I hated. Like I literally, after doing that and burying him, I pretty much had to get in the shower and go to a job I I didn't want to be at. Wow. And so I had to think about it all night. That's that's awful, man. I'm sorry. So if we could move questions? off, if we, I guess we should move past horrible, horrible <laughs> experiences mm -hmm. where our pets die. Yeah. Uh, Lefty, yeah. What job experiences did you have before YouTube? Um. Well, I worked at a supermarket in high school. I was a checker, best damn checker you have ever seen. Items per minute off the chart. Mm -hmm. Um. And then uh, let's see. I um. I did a little bit of. Uh, uh, I was able to get an engineering job in uh, in a suburban city out here. Uh, well, or an engineering like internship, they, not like I was an engineer. Mm -hmm. um, they sent me out to do odd jobs that uh, that the city needed doing. I did a little um, surveying, a little bit of uh, uh, code enforcement, making sure that people that poured that were going to pour driveways and um, garages in concrete, making sure that that they had the rebar and stuff up to code, and everything was framed properly, and then you know just spray paint something and get going. Uh, and then I worked uh, securing foreclosed homes. I got involved with the company there. I would be part of a team or multiple teams. We would go out and work on uh, foreclosed homes that banks had bought. And that job was probably probably the worst job I've ever had. I got some like the the cool thing about it was was sometimes because the bank owned it and the bank just wanted to get rid of it. They wanted to clean it up, get ready to to sell. So we would either have to go in and do a sales clean if it wasn't too bad, or we would have to go in and do a trash out and then fix it up if it needed to be fixed up in certain areas, and then do a sales clean. And then there were winterizations if they wanted to board up the house. Um, and if you were doing a trash out, basically anything you found you got to keep. Basically, cool? yeah, I found uh, I found a DJ machine, not not an not an actual two like uh, not not forty fives, not seventy eights, not those kind of turntables, but uh, I believe they were called Airmark or Newmark or something like that. They were CD turntables. You put a CD into a deck, and then there was a little like like on the DJ Hero, there was one of those, and you could. You know, scratch or whatever off that, and it had two of those and a mixer. It was a full set that came with a case. I was like, "Oh crap!" And so to for me to, I had to like do a little because the guy I was working with, I did the secure with that day. He was like, "Well, man, I got to get something." And I'm like, "Well, there's this office chair." 
And he's like, yeah, I guess, because I had found the... Um, DJ the, machine. Yeah, the DJ machine. And so he, he got away with an office chair. Oh, I got the DJ machine that I got to sell. Some guy apparently found brand new Ford Mustangs. That wow. he, the, but we couldn't. He couldn't grab those. Another guy found a nine millimeter. That's a cool one. Yeah, but we were like, I, 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 I think I remember telling him, like, dude, you, I don't think you can just take that. You kind of got to go take it to the cops first, I think. And he was like, no, man, it's okay. I'm like, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna tell on you. So that's what I've done. Do you guys want to talk about Grand Theft Auto? Yes. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I don't know much about it either. I do know the sales numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, they're really high. A mm -hmm. billion dollars in three days is huge. Did, what What was the fastest selling COD? Was it Black Ops but, 1? Yes. Um, I think it's beating the record every year, I thought. I thought Black mm. Ops 2. Yeah, I, I'm almost positive about this. So I think Black Ops 2 was, before this, um, the biggest entertainment venture ever and all that stuff. I want to say the first day's receipts were like $500 million, whereas GTA did $800 million. And, however, uh, COD, last year's COD, Black Ops 2, only reached 50, uh, $15 million. No, um, 15 after, days to get a billion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took 15 right. days to reach a million. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Billion. A billion, that's correct. Well, a billion in sales and a million copies sold, I think, is what you guys are referring to separately. Yes. Oh. They took... so, they did... so in three days, they, they grossed $1 billion uh, on GTA. However, that took 15 days to accomplish with Call of Duty Black Ops. <sighs> that is a ridiculous... Huge. When I heard that the budget was a quarter billion for GTA, I was like, oh, I don't know. And now, I still don't. No, no, right? Because even though they did a billion in sales, which is four times their budget, they don't get 100% of those profits, right? GameStop is getting a lot of those profits. Microsoft is taking a piece of the profits. There's expenses associated with you know the, the game itself. So, um, But they're probably profitable. I bet they get a quarter of it. They're yeah, probably in the money from here and, and it's... Well, what was the, what was the sale? The pre-orders alone covered the game budget. Maybe not the. I don't know how they determine the budget. Maybe their advertising isn't, you know, in the game development budget. But mm -hmm. whatever the, the pre-order numbers alone covered the game, covered the making of the game at least. It's Maybe a not giant the thing. I wonder how big GTA is going to be and how big it's going to stay. Because we were talking about this before the show. I think one of the things Grand Theft Auto did really, really well was timing the sale. Right? They came out in mid-September, you know, latest September. And that is brilliant. Borderlands did it three years ago, I think. And um, you know, everyone was thirsting for a game. You know, it, My theory is people go to school, the sun sets earlier. It just becomes like gaming weather. It just becomes time to, to crank up the Xbox, time to crank up the PC and play some games. You know, in August and July, it's not gaming time, you know. But now it is. And as soon as school starts, these guys drop their game and they crush it. Just like Borderlands, if you don't remember, a couple years ago, didn't sell like Grand Theft Auto. But they literally couldn't keep it off on the shelves. And I can't remember a game where they couldn't print them fast enough, aside from that one. So, uh, so yeah, they were smart to come out in September. They're crushing it. Grand Theft Auto is a thing. But what's going to happen in six weeks when the new like exclusive titles are out for the next-gen In consoles? six weeks, they're going to have multiplayer out. They're going to have this in new two weeks, right? Or two weeks, right? But in 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 six weeks, that's going to be out, and so this this whole wide open multiplayer world, which seems to be a whole lot more in depth than Grand Theft Auto Four's multiplayer, because Grand Theft Auto Four you could have a multiplayer free roam, like there were game modes, cops and robbers, deathmatch stuff. But then you could do free roam with your friends, and you could just run around, and that's the kind of content that a lot of people were watching um, this spring and summer in the lead-up to Grand Theft Auto V, where a bunch of YouTubers just free roaming in Grand Theft Auto IV and doing funny stuff and, and um, doing all the crazy things they could think of. And now, apparently, Grand Theft Auto V, I still don't know a whole lot about it. It's going to be a lot deeper than that. It's going to be open world, but still deeper and and formulated and stuff and it's re it's I, i'm very very excited just to get, jump in and see what it's all about yeah you have me curious to see what it's all about you know so I, here's my my greatest hope for grand theft auto multiplayer i want there to be gangs 
and I want mm. us to be the Rape Squad killers. Oh. <laughs> and I want I want us to have like a fucking forty man hit squad at all times, just wrecking this shit. That would be so great. Like, like we'd all dress the same, but like you know, like we wear gang colors, so we would you know not to shoot the guys with like the purple bandanas or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. If you're on a, how about this? How about if you're uh, over on the uh, subreddit? Why don't you, using the GTA clothing options, design the Rape Squad Killers uh, uniform? There you go. Nice. Dress up the dress up the different single player characters that you can find now in Rape Squad Killers garb. But have have yeah. we just witnessed the, um, like the the birth of the next thing in gaming that stays big, or have we seen a trend that's gonna fly by? And as soon as the November titles drop, like what is the one that had the four voice actors and it, they at the end they went into like a police, um, building or something and cleared it out. It's it might be destiny. Four voice actors. Um, who, sure. Yeah, they're playing the game together. One of them was a girl. They kind of coordinated their. Was that Tom Clancy's The Division? The Division. It might have been called The Division. I think that might have been it because I know in The Division, in the gameplay that they showed, there was a police station involved. Yeah, there was a police station involved, and you're you just like immersed in it and they're kind of like helping each other like one of them's calling out stuff and uh, anyway I, I will that take over that had me wondering like is that the next big game it looked really really fun um cod will drop you know these games are going to get attention from grand theft auto i guess in november will grand theft auto persist the single player so. won't I, I, it, it all depends on how deep it is and how much of a new game you can create out of multiplayer. I think I think the single player is going to live on pretty good. I think it's got a lot of replayability. I think it's got almost as much replay as something like Skyrim, maybe. But the the um, the, the world's just so gigantic. You can do so many varied things. But you're right. If the multiplayer is good, then this could be something that takes a serious bite out of COD's numbers, like you know, ten percent maybe. Or more. I mean, I, I feel like COD is just getting bit all the time. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe. Yeah, it's 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 on a um, it's on a. Uh, it is not keeping up with last year's pre-sale numbers at this day. Which the the. Uh, I think they've been trending down since Black Ops One. Yeah, I, I was looking at the numbers up. Each Black Ops, each Call of Duty has, has succeeded the last one. Yeah, but it's yeah. not by much. Like, a link? Um, Modern Warfare 3 would be Black Ops 1 by like 5 million. And Black Ops 2 is, is I think it's ahead like 4 or 5 million as well right now. Hmm. That's interesting. And it's hard to bet against COD. We've been betting against, everyone's been betting against COD for like the last four, four years. Right. It's still right here. Well, it still depends on, you know, what? Do you, how do you define COD losing? How do you define that? Because Call of Duty, you know, Half of a billion dollars in sales, even if you cut their sales in half, half of a billion dollars, five hundred million dollars in sales is still a lot of damn money. That's still Here's, a lot of units sold. Call of Duty right now, if you look at like the top ten Xbox games played, it has like four of them or six of them mm-hmm. or something crazy like that. If it loses the number one spot on Xbox Live, COD's been surpassed. You know, okay. that's its domain. You know, that that right there, the mm-hmm. Xbox Live most played game stuff. If it's not number one anymore, then something beat COD. Okay. Yeah. Heck, Agre- I, go ahead, Kyle. Agreed. Agreed. However, COD is a little bit different than, than most other games in, in that I feel like the previous CODs get played a lot. Yes. I, yeah. I feel like if this were a game, you know, like nobody's playing Grand Theft Auto by City right now. If they are, I feel really sorry for you. I'm sorry, dude. Your mom hates you. It sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> but... Nobody's really playing that shit, especially not online. All of the Grand Theft Auto fans are playing Grand Theft Auto Five right now, and you definitely can't, aren't going to be able to say that for the ones who are playing Ghost the first you know, week or two of its launch. Am I the only person that feels like Ghost is going to be the weakest entry in the series in a long time? I don't agree with you. No, I- they've, they've spent a lot of time and money and uh, effort into... Taking another step forward, but or I've, what they I've feel heard is from one. A lot of people that it's a reskin Modern Warfare Three. There are seven new game types 
in COD I Ghost. I don't care about game tags. I'm talking about mechanics, how characters move, how how the guns react, lag compensation. Game types can go suck my dick. I'm going to play Domination and TDM. Interesting. Yeah, no, to me, the things you talked about, I don't really look for them to change. The way the players move, to me, that is the thing that COD got more right than any other shooter I can name. Um, the way the skins look, you know, there's more skins. You know, the player customization is out of this world. What was the other thing you mentioned? Lag comp? I don't mm -hmm. think they're going to have any magic in lag comp. As a matter of fact, in my experience, the COD lag comp gets better throughout the year. I don't know why they step so far backwards with lag compensation every time it releases. Like the Black Ops 2 lag comp is way better for me today than it was when Black Ops 2 dropped. I'm not sure why this happens every year. played the, the Call of Duties over the years. Why didn't they keep that? I'm uh, on a three bar in like Modern Warfare 2. I can I can compete and play just fine. I'm on a three bar in Black Ops 2. I might as well sit my controller down. What they should do is go back to showing you what your ping is like in COD 2. That'd be good. I'd like to see that. Know your actual ping. Um, mm -hmm. But Cod it? Ghost is going to have dedicated servers, no? So you'll know you're yeah, the server. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have dedicated servers in Cod. No, on the Xbox. Oh, okay. On the PS4, not so much. And everyone but rags PS4? on me. PS4? Who'd buy a PS4? Everyone rips on me. Kyle says that, and they'll still rip on me. Woody, you're such a fanboy. <laughs> but um, I'm buying both. I'm getting both, too. But <laughs> if you're a Cod guy, I think the Xbox is the one. Better yet, if you're a COD YouTube commentator, the Xbox is obviously the one. One, you can record your gameplay over HDMI. Whereas PS4, you can't do that as it comes out. Two, it has dedicated servers. Like it, is that not in the conversation right there? I mean, it... You know what? I'd, I'd like more, P, more and better PC support. Yeah. Because I would play Call of Duty on PC. Because I... Playing on a console, I'm still, you know, I, I guess the, the idea of dedicated servers changes things, but I don't like the idea of playing Call of Duty or trying to stream something like that, and somebody joins my game, and they've got, an e, you know, a USB hooked up to their Xbox, now they've got my IP address, and they're knocking me offline. I don't like that. And that's one of the reasons why I would play, if I was forced to play Call of Duty, I would play it on, on PC. And I, I would just like more and better... PC support, which they've said that there's going to be, um, you know, not just ported over, that they're going to make textures specifically for PC. The I believe Activision has said, the developers have, and the developers have said that P, there's going to be better PC support. I just want, I don't want to see it to believe it. And I'd, I'd like for PC, the COD PC landscape to not be so desolate. You know, Black Ops 2 caught on PC was, for me at least when I played it, was just like, oh, this is dead. There's not, nobody here playing this. Even during its heyday. And so I'd like better P PC support. COD on PC was a waste of money for me. Get COD 4 wings, you make your money back one video. Shit, son, have you seen my videos lately? I get like 12,000 views. It takes like five videos to get my money back. <laughs> scheduled upload. Um, if you play with I the have, PK uh... crew. I've got I've got COD four for uh, for PC. I got it on Steam, but I um I, I have a hard time. I have a hard time with the the keyboard and mouse. I just do. So what we do is we do the suck the suck series. No, nah, I can't do go that. Go to the win. No, <laughs> I, I, there's no way you could ask me to go into Call of Duty four and suck. Can't do that. I would cry. <laughs> I got Black Ops on hmm. the PC, and like I'm a 1.8 KD player on it. That's like yeah. making Muhammad Ali like. Even though he's dead now, go out and fight. You can't do that to him. He can't I fight. I didn't realize now. Muhammad Ali cool. died. Is Muhammad Ali dead? He's dead, right? He's dead, isn't he? I don't, I don't think sure? so. Are we sure he's not dead? I mean, I didn't see him today or anything. But no, he's you know, seventy-one years he's old. Still alive. All right, so, so yeah, I mean, like, like, I mean, he doesn't know where he fuck. is or what he's wearing. Yeah, or, he's all know. fucked up. It'd be embarrassing <laughs> to send Muhammad Ali in there. Yeah, I'd still hate to fight him at seventy-one with like Alzheimer's. Nah, you got this. Yeah, no, 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 I don't think he'll do well. No, Wings, watch a video of Muhammad Ali doing anything in the last five, ten years. Mike Tyson, on the other hand. Oh, my God. Handful. I saw videos of him. Um, I think he was showing Rashad Evans just some moves and, and working angles and stuff. And you see Mike Tyson today, and I think of him as kind of like a fat former athlete. And then I watched him hit the heavy bag for just a second. And it was like, oh, there it is. You know, like... Holy smokes, the way that guy moved laterally. The way 
Like, you know, I hit something, and I try not to make it an arm punch, but th there's an aspect of that there. The way his whole body is a lever into that punch is just so natural and clear. For, like, uh, Mike Tyson, if I ever meet you, please don't hit me in the ribs. That would be a terrible thing. Yeah, he's got that shovel punch that is just... He, he throws, like, a shovel punch and then and then straight into an uppercut, just back-to-back. -back. And he's got so many knockouts for that. Then don't watch YouTube mashups of Mike Tyson knocking the fuck out of people in boxing. Oh, it's so great. Those are it's He so just great. decimates people. This it's is cold-blooded shit right here. What are you looking well, at? What's that? I'm looking at Muhammad Ali, and, like, he's got, like, Parkinson's and stuff, and he's, like, shaking, and his head won't stop moving. Yeah, I'm like this used to be the guy that would beat any man on the planet's ass. That's mm -hmm. like he doesn't know where he's at now. That's traumatic brain injury. That's what a lot of boxers end up. A lot of guys that get hit a lot. That's what they end up like. Yeah, your yeah. brain, you know what? Your brain doesn't like. I guess that. the rope of dope is not what you should be doing if you're well, boxing. <clears> so here's the thing with Muhammad Ali. A lot of people don't don't understand the first half of his career. That rope of dope thing wasn't a thing. He invented that later on. So the first half of his career. He was like like he was like grease lightning. You could not lay your hands on this man. He was dodging punches and slipping everywhere. You couldn't lay hands on him, and he just picked you apart uh, with, with jabs and just kept his distance and fucked you up with finesse. Then Vietnam happened. He refused to fight, so they took his belt away from him and didn't let him fight for years. When he came back, he wasn't the same kind of fighter. He didn't have the the shuffle anymore. He didn't have the speed, so he had to become a whole different kind of boxer. He had to become the boxer who takes punishment and outlasts his opponent. And that's what the rope of dope and that's what his brain injury is all about. Mm -hmm. Dude, he just yeah, outlasts these motherfuckers. He was Cassius Clay and then he found Islam and then changed his name to Muhammad Ali. They wanted to make him go fight in Vietnam and he wouldn't do it, right? If Correct. Correctly? Yeah. Yep. Good for him. Take it to... No, I'm not going to fight said... for your shit. Good for him. <laughs> he said something like. Didn't know Viet Cong ever called me a nigger. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Like, this is a guy who, who at home is dealing with all this racism from other Americans. Like, they're treating him like shit, not treating him like a... Uh, treating him like... Literally treating him like a second-class citizen. And those same people are asking him to go fight and die to, to kill somebody who this guy has no fight with whatsoever. I, and he I, might be biased, but I don't think we should... Re require like major athletes to fight in the military. That's stupid. They did it in World War II. I understand yeah. they did in World War II. Like Ted Williams and this just this man so lost like Ted Williams or Elvis during World no, War no, no, II. No. Alright, alright. So here's what they do. When a celebrity or a sports hero get uh, goes in the military, they give him a cushy job on a on a safe part of the world. Who's no, they're never in any danger. And the reason you may say, Oh that's not fair, but think about it. The military can't if, 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 if a soldier gets shot today, you probably won't hear about it. and The whole world definitely won't hear about it. But if Elvis gets shot today, it's, it's huge. It would be horrible. It would be a massive blow to the Army. So they keep Elvis safe. Elvis is on an air base somewhere playing his guitar and, and banging like the female secretaries. That's what Elvis did during the war. And that's why they, the Army tried to cover up and lie about Pat Tillman's death. Yeah, Pat Tillman. He football player that they that was in combat and he got a, a friendly fire incident where his own guys accidentally killed him and they tried to cover it up and act like he was a war hero because it was going to look so bad if an NFL player got friendly fired and and, uh, and so they covered up but the truth came out it was a big deal yeah I, I don't know how I don't know if he was directly involved in combat operations. Maybe he was, but they tried to make it seem as though he, you know, he was on the front lines and he wanted to be on the front lines, and that's how he died—a true patriot, et cetera, et cetera. But then it came out that, well, he was under friendly fire and he was screaming like, "We're friend friendly, friendly, stop!" And he got shot up anyway, and the army tried to cover it up because they're fucking pricks. That happens. Yeah, it happens. Friendly fire and cover it up to try to turn it into, you know. Your major whoopsie into I a mean, PR. Like, I don't understand how you just explain it. Like, when I see friendly fire, I think of, like, you see somebody, you're not sure if they're in or not, and you shoot, and you kill him. But if he's screaming friendly, and he's in a, mili Wait. In a U.S. military uniform, wouldn't you, like, second-guess it? That's why they covered it up, because it's like, what the... Mm -hmm. That's how Stonewall Jackson died during the Civil War. Lots of people say the South would have won if he hadn't gotten shot that day. What he do you think, Wings? Leg and his horse fell on him, and he died that's, of a leg infection. That's not even true, Wings. That he got shot by his own men on a foggy night, re returning from a recon patrol, uh, and he got shot. And he Which died. one died from the horse fall then? 
that was um, one of the great Indian chiefs. Maybe um, now, this was the Geronimo South. Sitting Bull, someone like that. They uh, they fell off a horse, drunk into a into cold water, and then died like a week or two later of the flu, I think, or pneumonia. Pneumonia. That's what it was. It's either Sitting Bull or Geronimo, one of those guys. But uh, Stonewall Jackson was shot by his own man. Friendly fire. Richard B. Garrett. That's what I'm thinking about. He I've never heard of that. Own, he got shot by his own men in the leg, and in the, in, in the, he fell off his horse, and they, they cut his leg off, and he ended up dying of fever. Now, I want to ask you guys, as being products of, of Southern education, is it true that, that the Civil War is taught... I, I mean, I guess you wouldn't be able to, to say definitively that it's different, but from what you've heard from, let's say, a more liberal... So I had only only uh, in one class did I encounter that. I had a, a middle school teacher named Mr. Mackamson. You stupid fucker if you're watching this. Uh, and Mr. Mackamson was uh, part of a group known as the Sons of Confederate Veterans. Yeah, I know. And, the, and they do, you know, Civil War reenactments. And we actually had one of these reenactments at the high school one time. They all came out with their cannons and, and muskets and uniforms. But long story short, Mr. Mackamson taught... Um, the, he he he, and it was almost a propaganda film he showed us. That was that, that basically the the line of thought was that the Civil War wasn't fought, fought over slavery, which to a point is very true. But they really really wanted to focus in on that and and you know excuse uh, excuse the South completely from the Civil War and just completely side skirt all those slavery issues. He didn't it didn't even delve into that. Okay. Yeah, but the Civil War wasn't about slavery though. I mean, slavery was a tool used by Abraham Lincoln to swing favor into a presidency that wasn't favored at all. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that that's, that's funny about Abraham Lincoln, slavery, and the Civil War, and and how the three of those are interconnected, and how Lincoln felt about the two of the those things. Didn't he have a quote that was something no like, "Didn't that he? Has, didn't that has he? No outcome whatsoever." Didn't he say something one time that was to the effect of, "You know, if I could." Um, if I could end the war by freeing every slave, I would. But if I could end the war by leaving every slave in bondage, I would. I don't think I, it was. I he know. wanted out of the war. <laughs> I, I think uh, I don't think it was really fought that much about slavery. But what I was getting at is, I, I thought his class was weird. Just that guy was total racist. You could tell. I always like mm -hmm. fucking with him. There was a there was a time where I faked a seizure in class until he picked me up and tried to carry me to the to the office, and then I was like, "Gotcha!" And he just dropped me cold right on the concrete. So that guy's a prick. <laughs> well, like, do you are you asking like, are we taught differently? Like, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure we well, understand I, the North won the war. And they don't like like propaganda that to us. <laughs> right. Well, it, you know, the joke often is is that you know Southern textbooks are still like, well, you know, the war of Northern aggression. Right. That kind of stuff. Oh, the, the war of Northern I, I've aggression. I've never read a Northern textbook. But I can tell you what the Southern one says, mm -hmm. and it, it mainly talks about uh, God, what's his name, the guy, the general that wouldn't cross the Potomac with like a like a huge ass armory. Like they basically make Sherman? it feel like you're talking about Sherman the South, Atlanta? and they in like um, God, uh, Robert E. Lee, he was like the best general ever, and like they paint that kind of picture, but they don't paint the picture of like where Sherman came across and burned Atlanta to the ground. They they say it, but they don't like highlight it as a big we, you know we defining that. feature. That was a big thing for us. Like like the complete destruction of Atlanta was a was a big part of what we learned. Hmm. And like, I mean. There's a lot of people around here that, 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 that live in the Civil War still. Like, I have a buddy. His name is Rusty. He just opened a paranormal store on Main Street in Conway. I, I want to go look at that store. But, like, he is one of the sons of the Confederates, veterans. You, and like, you need to make a vlog tomorrow, go into the paranormal store, getting your, I, I thought about buying it. something cool, and then testing it out, and uh, maybe talk to the son of a Confederate veteran and ask him and what like, he thinks like the Civil War was about. Like, on his days off work, he would, like, go to the old churches that were, like, commissioned during the Civil War, because we still have some of those hanging around. And, like, he likes to ghost hunt in the old Confederate graveyards and shit. It's creepy. I mean, that guy's, he's, like, whacked out or something. <laughs> hmm. All right. But that would be a pretty cool place to shoot a vlog at, like, one of those old Confederate graveyards that we have hanging around here. They got the uh, little rickety gate and shit. Uh... I, oh. It would be cool, I think. I like the walking I, vlog. I think it looks nice. Like I, I've watched walking vlogs before, especially if they're going someplace kind of interesting. You see the scenery change if they make a turn or two. If you like, that's that guy's neighborhood. You can see all the houses that surround him. 
it gives me an insight into his world that like a sitting blog in front of a monitor doesn't. I don't like the sitting blog in front of the monitor. Yeah, I feel I like, like they're lazy, they're tacked on, and like they're the same thing every time you do it. Yeah, I. You want a vlog idea, Wings? Sure. So you get a, you get one, you get Bastard Brook to drive your pickup truck. You get uh, some other in, individual, maybe your brother or somebody, to hold the camera and sit on the tailgate of the truck, and then the driver drives like three miles an hour while you walk behind the truck and you go for a walk. And and he's got an odometer, so he can he knows when you've walked a half mile. Yeah, that's a pr- that's a pretty cool idea. You get a, you get a running shot, but the only problem I'd worry about that's audio. I think it'd be all right. Three miles an hour—that's just walking pace. Yeah, but my truck's got pipes. Oh <laughs> no, that's an issue. That's a problem. <laughs> and they're straight piped. Yeah, you got a loud truck. Hmm. I'd have to use the Ford. The Ford didn't straight piped. I'd also like this is completely unrelated, but. I'd like to see you on an enormous hamster wheel if we could make that happen somehow. Like I don't know if there's like a fun house nearby, it. something like you that. Build it and I'll come draw on it. I'd like to see a blog where you played laser tag, like went into one of those laser tag places. Uh, laser tag just does not fit me. I am such a big guy. I know that's why it would be great. <laughs> like I would like <laughs> hide behind shit and like my back fat would still get me. Nah, back. nah. Think about this, dude. It doesn't matter that you're a big guy because everyone wears the same target on their chest. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of, Rusty just liked my pro- my profile picture I put up. Uh, who who did who's Rusty? The, the, the son of the Confederate uh, veteran. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, I forgot. Like, did I we get any res- Wings? Did we get any responses on Plenty of Fish yet? We have not, but Damn. it's kind of late. It's one o'clock in the morning. Left. Well, shit. I was I was really hoping that that clown fucking thing was just gonna turn into Wings fucking that super smoking chick. Like, what if she was like, holy fuck. It's so hard to find a big daddy juggalo. I'll be right there. Let me get my makeup on. I'm not a juggalo, but dude, dude, would you not immediately rush to Walmart and get some makeup? I, I would. I would have gangster grandma. Face, That's face, right. Face, like face, you would have face. gangster grandma turning you into a fucking clown immediately, bro. I'd be shaggy too dope overnight. I don't think there's anybody in this call that wouldn't dress up like a clown for for, for that young lady. She's, she's very attractive. Clown or you know Aladdin, whatever. Maybe we should message her back and and then like and like expand. Like I hope the clown thing didn't blow you away. I want you to know I could I could be Aladdin. I could be uh, Han Solo. Whatever you need, I've got lots, Chewy. That would be lots, hard. Like lots of costumes. I have a nurse's costume that I'll put on if you don't tell anyone. Just have like just have something held up like Princess Leia earmuffs. I'll be Job of the Hut. That Princess Leia fantasy is is kind of worn on me too. Like, let's be honest, Carrie Fisher was not that attractive. Wrong. No, Carrie Fisher was very much attractive. I disagree. Really? I, I, yeah, I, I think I, she I, was. I found her to be uh, just. Nah. I, so here's the thing. A Renee I, Zellweger almost. I no, no way. Carrie her. Fisher's on the on the same level as Renee Zellweger. No way. Maybe Who, I just don't like her. Who's higher in lefty? The way. I oh, oh, oh uh, Carrie uh, Fisher. Uh, Renee uh, Zellweger is a looks like a fucking anteater or something. I thought she looked hot when she was younger. She's not that bad. Um, no, no. I, to me, Carrie Fisher is fully hot. Like many, many women who are also fully hot. You know, Carrie Fisher, Megan Fox, the two Emmas, whoever the fuck they are, um, Stone and, and Watson, the uh, the two Jessicas. Okay, okay. Wings just linked me to a picture of her, and she is very hot. I guess I had a bad memory. I'm thinking of her when she's wearing that white get-up at the beginning of the Star Wars movie, and she's talking to Darth Vader, and he's, like, questioning her and stuff. She's got I, her hair in the buns, but Slave I, yeah, Girl that, that hair bun almost killed it. No, to no, me, no. The, there's a yeah. fair amount of women in Hollywood who are just all the way hot, and I could almost trade any one of them. You know, it did, they're just gorgeous enough. Oh, and by the way, you know, Every college has thirty of them as well, and you know, they're just not that uncommon to find beautiful. I saw women. I saw Stern do something interesting the other day. He he made like a, a bracket, like a you know like a football bracket, but they were celebrities, and it was Would You Rather, and but he was doing it with George Takai, who's uh, <laughs> Sulu from Star Trek, and very homosexual and op- very open about that. And the obviously the actors were men, so it was like you know Would You Rather Ben Affleck or Brad Pitt, and he's just like, oh my, 
fucking goodness. Brad Pitt all the way. <laughs> uh, he went with he went with Clooney. He 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 went with Clooney. Clooney won. He was that was his number one pick, and they went through like maybe eight maybe eight uh, good looking uh, Hollywood guys, and George Takai chose George Clooney. Yeah, George Takai is is pretty good. He every once in a while he'll come out with a video, um, where he's just he's railing on like a you know the anti-gay homophobes or whatever. Um, there was one, there was some protest in Washington or something where they gave little snippets. People, uh, res- uh, some reason I think why they wanted to, I think it was like defending the the institution of marriage. And George Takai filmed something where he would just glibly respond. Yes, to that was awesome. I saw that. He had those. Yeah. He was holding up a sign every time. Right, right, um, right. One of them was the woman was like, she's like, being gay is weird. I want, I want a man. And he's like, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and George Sakai is really great. He did like a whole week of Stern. It seems like I, I'm not sure how the Stern show works on it on uh, XM. It seems like it's on no matter when I turn it on, and I know that he doesn't record, you know, all day long. So it seems like George Sakai has done like a week of shows with him because I've listened to it seems like like three or four hours of George Sakai and Stern and. George Takai stays pretty damn professional through the whole time. He doesn't get really dirty, but you know how Stern is. Stern's like, you know, tra- asking him about. He, he you know, can Brad get Pitt. people to get dirty. Yes, he's That's like his it, talent. It, he'll just ask you a direct, dirty question. It's a yes or no. So he's he's like, so uh, you you you'd stick your tongue far up Brad Pitt's asshole, right? Right. You'd get in there deep. Uh, oh my! And it's just like you know, it's like, what are you gonna say? Like, what are right. you gonna say to that? Like, tons of questions like that. But you'd suck his cock, right? You'd suck that cock. Let me ask you this. If you had to choose between... Because uh, George Takai has a deteriorating uh, like foot uh, condition, apparently, that might threaten his ability to walk in the next ten years. And he's like, if you, could, if you knew that uh, you'd be able to walk to your dying day, or you had to give up getting fucked in the ass, which would you do? And he's like... And he legitimately had to think about it for a very long time. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Wings, you had a question here. What would you give up to be more successful on YouTube? You'd make more money, grow much faster, and get more views. What would I give up to be more successful on YouTube? Yeah. That's a, kind of an open-ended question um, because it doesn't give me options of what I would give up. I mean, I could give up like... Um, it's your question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you asked You're it. criticizing his, your own question. <laughs> Uh, would you give up junk saying, food? Like, it's a bad question in that regard because, like, oh, I would give up the ability to grow toe fungus. No, no, no. I mean, would you? Would you give up junk food? Would I give? Mm. All right, he, all right. Let me phrase it better then. What is what thing would you give up that is also? What is the most precious thing to you that you would give up? The most precious thing to me that I would give up. I would give up my brand new truck. But you're trying I to give that up now, though. It. Yeah, I am trying to give that up now. That's a terrible thing. That's not even good. Would you give up yeah, your that's, beard? That's... I would give up my beard. Would you give up... Would you shorten your life by 10 years? Yes. You'd shorten your life because by 10... Of... Go on. Because those 10 years are the years I'm, pro... I'm most likely going to be like getting my ass kicked by salt and wearing diapers. Would I rather have a, a youthful... You know, be more youthful and have a lot more success in money and my youth, where I can actually use it. Or do I want to have diaper years? Would you give up all your bodily hair for more YouTube success permanently, alopecia? Yes. You look funny without eyebrows. That's true. By the way, does that guy? Who you know, you know what you look funny in? A, a Cadillac Escalade in front of a big old house. <laughs> you know, Would I can, you... I can, I can buy some fake motherfuckers and, and have them put on. Would you give up the lack of structure in your life if YouTube success... I don't have the no structure. I know. That's the point. Would you give up a pinky finger? Yeah. But would I'm talking about, would, would you make your life more structured if you have to work 8, 9, 10, 11 hours a day at your craft? Well, see, that. See, this is a trick question because like, you're trying to give me the keys to the kingdom. And like, one of the benefits I like is not having to have structure. And like, um, if I work nine, ten hours straight, like straight on YouTube, like no bullshitting, no lollygagging, mm-hmm. the keys of the kingdom could be there, but they could not be there because I could be going off in the wrong venture. If I put eight, nine, ten hours a day in the right venture, 
and did the right things, I could maybe grow, but I'm unsure about that. Would you trade your left hand for a lobster claw? No. <laughs> the Why lobster would I do claw. That? Because I'm a. I jerk off with my left hand. Your right hand, then. Great. I write with my right hand. Would you trade your penis for a. Dagger. A dagger. A death cop. These are dumb. <laughs> well, I don't you know. Get... We, we just kind of said things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, would you trade your penis for a dagger? I wouldn't trade my penis for shit. Somebody on the on the subreddit was like, would you do? Would you rather lose your penis or, and the or was horrible. You had to, like, give birth to five children and ha- you would have to have a period every month for the rest of your male life, which I guess, I don't know, I guess you're pooping blood. I don't know what that <laughs> oh, would be. I, I, it's certainly it not be, urinating. Would it be seeping out of your penis for a week? It wouldn't be your penis because, you know, women don't pee out of their vaginas. I, I hear you, but, I mean... It'd be your, it'd tell me, you told me pooping blood, right? Women don't bleed out of I their know, it, butts either. Neither I mean, one of them makes sense, but if one of them's going to be leaking <laughs> something all day, it makes sense for it to be your butt. No, it would make more sense for it to be your Which sex makes organ. More sense. Yeah. W- women okay. bleed out of their sex organ. Well, kind of. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it yeah, does he's make got sense. You there. It he's fucking makes sense. There. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely makes sense. I, I win! Woo-hoo! You won, you won. <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay, so... Is that so, a wild yeah. card? But I was, but finishing that thought, I was like, no, I wouldn't give up my uh, my penis for anything. That life's not worth living without my penis. I there, don't there's think. very few things I would I'd give my penis up for. Well, I mean, would like, you first off, you got a colostomy bag, you got to start carrying around and shit, because you got to get rid of waste. And then like you can't piss on haters. You can't like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong point. I'd miss that. <laughs> Wings of Redemption's number two w- reason for not wanting his penis cut off. I won't be able to piss on haters anymore. Dude, you'd be able to do better. You'd like have you'd have like you'd bags like, you could throw at them. You'd be able to <laughs> grenade them with right. You'd, <laughs> right. you'd have pee balloons that you could throw. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. Now I'm able to piss on my haters. Wait, more a easily. question. How many how many haters have you pissed on already? Zero. Uh, zero so far. Have you ever pissed on anyone? Yes. Go on. In the South, that's a thing, right? Remember this? If you pee on someone, it's a sign of disrespect in the South. As if that wasn't <laughs> universal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got that up here, too. <laughs> really? It's good, luck. It's, good, it's good yeah. luck in New York. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's not much of a story to it. I mean, like, have you ever pissed on somebody? Yeah, I mean, I've stood next to a guy and pissed on a shoe by accident. Oh, oh, come on. That's not what I meant. I meant, have you ever peed on a girl in like a sexy scenario where she just wanted to get peed on no, by a dude? No, I haven't given nobody a golden shower. I mean, like, I don't, say, I don't say I'm like, I'll be unwilling to, but like, it had to be, re- it, you'd have to get me in the right mood. What if that, uh, what if that hot chick with the kid wanted you to pee on her? As she a clown. Would get, she would get drenched. Like, a, like I was <laughs> tapping the <ground. laughs> It took cool, me a second to process impression. that. She get to it, and it wouldn't be ice cold. I don't know. Peace. That's no, that, that's body have, temperature. Yeah, Wings doesn't have to process it because he's got that steam cleaner handy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Wings, who's your role model? Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. Why? Why him? Carl Sagan is. He, he, he makes me calm. Like he uh, he gives me the um, the he gives me the the outlook that. Life is so much bigger than it actually is, and like smaller, right? No, like, bigger. Bigger is the word I wanted to use. Okay, like, explain. It gives you the idea. You know what you said is also true. It's smaller than it actually is, but bigger in the sense that we are the universe. Like the universe is in us. Everything that's made through the universe is a part of us, just like the stars. And at the same aspect, he does make you feel small and insignificant, and like it kind of lets me draw life's problems into one little small bundle. Like right now, you know, I'm I have debt and I have YouTube and all this other stuff, but guess what? None of that shit fucking matters because I'm worried about YouTube on a fraction of a dot on a humdrum star sitting in a corner of a universe that's about to collide with another universe. Galaxy, you mean? Galaxy, yes. I'm sorry, and it it really doesn't matter. Yeah, but I, sometimes I feel life. like that you know, 
stars are going to crash in a billion years from now is almost an excuse to not think about daily troubles. What are daily I'm not talking troubles? about just you in general. Like, you know, there, there, there are a million stoners who thought the same thing. What are daily troubles, though? Like, literally. Like, every day, that you, every day that you get is a gift because no, gay is, no, no day is guaranteed. Also, they, no gay. How many people woke yeah. up the day that no didn't homo. make it to this point into the day? How many people woke up, go to work, and got slammed by, by a drunk driver or had an automobile wreck or got shot by their wife? How many people died of hunger last night? How many people died of being frozen to death? How many homeless bums didn't wake up being frozen to death? I mean, nothing in life is guaranteed. What, two years ago, I was on top of the world in, in what I consider top of the world. Now I'm on the downcline. I don't know where I'm going to be two years from now. That's why the YouTube question to me is so hard because I don't know where I'm going to be in two years because it's unpredictable. I mean, and that's the whole thing. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm still stuck on, like, you know, hey, it's no big deal. There's stars up in the sky. I'm not, I'm not trying to say don't try your hardest. Mm -hmm. But don't let something like that rule over your life. I, I don't know. I, I, See, it, it can be both. It can be used to be a, a laissez-faire, whatever, let the chips fall where they may. I'm just going to sit back and be lazy or uh, anarchy. You know, nothing matters. I can do whatever I want. But it also, it's all, but I... There is no good, with, there is no bad, you know, right, there's just but, but chemistry. All, right, exactly. But I choose to think of it, I think, how Wings does, is that, well, yes, I am free to do what I choose. And I, the, the important part, at least for me, is I have the choice. I have the choice to do whatever I want, and I choose to do this with, in, in accordance with whatever morals that I choose. I feel like there are people who often think about stars and, and, and our insignificance in the universe and say, you know, well, Woody, the fact that you don't think that way makes you a small thinker. Here you are concerned about your life, but your life is meaningless. There's nothing to it. Well, and I not, think it's not even that at all, though. But no, I'm not talking about you in specific specifically, though. I'm, I'm talking about some people who had this mm -hmm. concept of the Earth is just a speck of dust floating around in the universe, etc. will say, you know, yeah, but dude, you're... Your life is just a tiny little thing on one little planet and one little solar system and one little galaxy in, in, in the universe. And, uh, but the, you know, the other part of that is like, yeah, but the influence I have around me is the entire me. And that's the biggest thing I'll ever be. And you know, to discount it as not big enough, therefore not worth concerning yourself about, it can be a cop-out. Yeah, that's, I'd agree with that. That's definitely a cop-out. I look at it like... Um... You know, the uh, spaceship Earth is something I think Joe Rogan talks about a lot. A lot of people have talked about it. You know, um, George Carlin, you know, we're, we're just on this blue-green ball floating in space, and he did that pantomime, and it was, like, really, like, oh, yeah. And it's an but, Epcot ride. <laughs> <laughs> but I, ch I choose to think of it like, or I also think of it, the human experience is not just my experience, not your experience, not anybody's experience, and I said this on my show, so anybody that watches both are going to hear this again. The human experience is something larger than all of us. It's it's a it's something the the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. It's, it's a thing. It's ongoing. It was it was before we were conscious, and it will be long after we are conscious. It's the human experience, and I choose, and and I think everybody is is owes a duty to. It's imagine like a big ship, a huge ship in a in a bay, and we're all just little tugboats trying to nudge that ship called the human experience in whatever way we see fit some bad some good some in opposite directions some in opposing directions but that's that's really all we can do and sometimes the nudge is very very little sometimes the ship to you know, nothing sometimes the nudge is a little bit larger but that's that's really all we can hope for i feel like my nudge isn't bad you know like it, so so i'm i'm I nudge for good every opportunity I get. You know, there is, of course, my own immediate family, you know, we're, we're whatever, steering my ship. But there is the, you know, the, the, the reach of my channel, which I often use, you know, to, to try to put out a positive message. And, um, you know, I, I don't like it being discounted by saying, Woody, your channel, its reach doesn't matter. There are a million guys on planet Xeon who have not heard it at all. And it's like, yeah, well, maybe so, but... That, that doesn't mean that I haven't done something notable. The, the idea of it, though, isn't that 
it's insignificant. The idea is to let you know that you should do what you can and be the best person you can. Because no matter what you do, none of it will matter. Like, the, mm -hmm. you pull in the train with your family. You're trying the best you can to be the best provider possible. And there's things called unknown unknowns, which could derail your train without anything you have to say about it. What happens when we have a fiscal cliff and our money becomes worthless and every bit of work that you've done to this point in your life has become worthless overnight? That's something you can't predict. And it's, it's something that some people would kill themselves over. And the idea is to have a greater understanding of what you're actually doing. And that's what the stars think. Is. Some people take it too far, some people take it too lightly, but I find solace in it. Yeah, you know what you do when you when you run into one of those people that's like, well, it doesn't matter, so give up and or you know nothing matters, and then you you just respond, well, you saying nothing matters doesn't matter, so fuck off, and you go do whatever the hell you want, because those people just they just want to be contrarian. Usually, I've found that those people that are like that 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 nothing matters, nothing you do matters, so you should just give up, or or that intimate that maybe they don't say give up, they're just mm -hmm. they just want to be contrarian. That's all. They're like, okay, go be contrarian. I I agree with you that it doesn't matter, but I'm going to take that. I'm going to turn it into something positive for me and myself and my consciousness. And you can just here sit here being a contrarian douche. Yeah. I think you're onto something. Just live your life, live the life that makes you most happy. Like, don't go. I, what I'm saying is, like, remember that job that you hated? Mm -hmm. like, what if you two fails? I wouldn't go back to that job. You most likely will. Like, that's the thing I'm afraid of about you two failing. I don't want to go back to a factory. Why? Because a factory is doing something for something else that I'm required to have to exist in the current life that it is, and I'd much rather be a a, a less rich person. I don't. I mean, a poor person than to go back to that factory life where I'm looking for material goods that don't allow me to live the life that I want to live. And that's what YouTube offered up to me. That's why it was such a big thing. I think that was like one of the happiest days I picked out was you know, getting that check from Machinima that day because it, it allowed me to realize that I now can live a life that I would be happy in. Yeah, you, know, you know, look at me now, I'm like all depressed and shit, and I'm like taking, I'm hypocritical on my own advice, but at the same time, in my weakest moment, that's what I look to. To kind of reset myself. YouTubers are kind of blasted for, you know, making money and such. But uh, really, it's like, it's not the money for the money's sake. It's the, uh, I guess, the lack of pressure, the flexibility, the, the schedule. I, I don't have much of that lately because I'm doing the Minecraft thing. And I just work at it all day and night. But, um, you know, it. yeah, that day that check came in, it was like, ah. Oh, that's a stress relief. That's what that does. Speaking of machinima, what's going on there? Before we, if we close out the show anytime soon, I don't want to drag it on longer. If anybody's really yeah, tired, but what's what? going on with machinima? They lay off people again. Is that the deal? Yeah, I don't want to get any facts wrong. Of course, this is painkiller already. If you're looking for accuracy, well, keep looking. Uh, they dropped Shore Wars, and that's a big one for me. Yeah, Shore Wars, Apple, APL Fisher, or I, I they got rid of APL Apple Fisher. Fisher. Yeah, I think they let him go. They, uh, that's what I oh, heard. Oh, I thought he was doing a good job on his shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say uh, the word on the street is, as I've heard it, not from anybody directly involved in machinima dealings, is that uh, respawn, the respawn division, isn't doing very well anymore. Um, and they've got on top of that. For I, I, I don't know. You guys have been inside inside machinima, but the word I've heard is that they're not very good at selling advertisements, and they've spread themselves out a little too thin trying to create content. And be a, a like a, a content provider as far as a network goes, and not just a we'll sell ads on your partner channels network. Yeah. Um, oh, and just to clear things up, when I said I thought he was doing a good job, it wasn't. And now I've learned otherwise. It's no. In my opinion, he was doing a good job. Period. Um, yeah. I, if I was running Machinima, I would focus more on just bringing gaming channels into the partnership space and taking a slice of their revenue. That, that's how I would run Machinima. What Machinima's done is they've tried to become a content producer and it's really expensive to have people on staff, you know, and, and provide them benefits and salary and all the things that you expect with a machine, you know, with a real job. And sometimes they produce videos. These are full-time employees that you hire. You pay them on makeup numbers. These are considered these PKA facts, right? Total bullshit. But you pay them, you know, 65 grand, 100 grand, 
Uh, and then you put benefits in and the cost of the building and all the things on top of that. And pay their taxes. Yeah, their half of Social Security, things like that. These guys are costing your company sixty-five grand to hundred grand. Now they're costing your company shucks ninety grand to one hundred and fifty grand after you do their benefits and their, you know, office space and all that other stuff. Their Social Security tax, and you know that's a lot of money to pay someone when maybe their videos are not getting the kind of you know views or advertisements to warrant that pay. And they invest in it for a while, and eventually they just uh, you know cut it. And I, that might have been what happened. Um, That's what happened to us. <laughs> yeah, and we'll see that uh, Machinima is going to be doing a little better this fourth quarter. Is great for advertising; mm-hmm. it's huge. So you, um, Machinima will, will easily be fine, I guess, through the rest do you of this think year. They drop these guys to t- kind of like pad a profit margin because that companies are known to do that. They'll drop guys that are just extras. They closed out a whole division. Is what happened. They closed out a whole division. Yeah. So. It wasn't no. that they like picked and choose or anything like that. They were like, this department isn't, um, you know, Probably. feasible yeah, anymore. Like, if you got a good guy in that department, you, you'd want to try to move him. Sometimes they don't do that, you know. It there's nowhere to move him to. That see, that's the thing. Like, you know, if you it, the boat with the, they used to have a bunch of guys rowing the boat, and now the boat's gotten smaller, and they just don't need those extra rowers, so they got to go. Yeah, I know. Like, le- there's a bunch of theories on laying people off. Some do it straight up on seniority which is imperfect obviously some do it based on the job role and say all right you know we just don't hr is a spot that we can lose and customers won't care at all so hr is going to get cut you know some companies do it like that some companies you know do it by division this division's not profitable everyone there you're gone it's a sinking ship and you say ah oh, but there were some all stars in there sorry right. you know the all stars on the wrong team get cut too and and they do it that way. It sounds like, according to what Kyle's saying, that that's what happened there. And uh, it's sad. You know, e- even though I'm not with Machinima anymore, I kind of want good things to happen to the people there. You know, my experience with them was largely positive. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm not sitting here dancing or anything. It, it's, I, it these are real people. I, I'm, I think I made the right decision jumping ship when I did. Like, I was questioning that decision for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, yeah, I don't know. I think they're still an attractive place to be a partner with. It's all about the CPM. <laughs> you know, that's it. Mm-hmm. All these companies, sometimes people think companies like Machinima or IGN, who I'm with, or I'm with Atomic, I guess, or Yaosh or whatever, are like your team and they're your network and you're going to work together and rise to the top and car. None of that ever is true. If you're a young YouTuber out there, you know, a brand new channel, you're just getting started and you don't know what the scoop is, I'll tell it to you now. These companies get advertisers to put ads in front of your video. That's what they do. If they tell you that, you know, we have whatever, Jenna Marbles, I just grabbed her out of thin air, and suddenly you're going to be doing dual comms with her, it's bullshit. It's not true. If they tell you that, you know, there's going to be all this networking stuff, it's bullshit. You have to do that on your own. If they tell you that you're, they're going to make you a movie star and that, or that there's all these amazing branded integration deals coming to you, it's largely bullshit. It's not true. You know, there's some of it here and there, but, but the bulk of, you know, th- these networks, they get people to put ads on your videos and that's what they do. And the only thing that you care about when you're choosing networks is, uh, um, what the how much they can pay per thousand views the cpm Mm -hmm. everything else they tell you isn't true it's nothingness it's not something to contemplate or consider the help you're going to get making your videos the partnerships the collaboration all of it is not true what is true is the cpm and i i've i've been with several different networks now i've um uh, read i've been offered contracts from just about all of them and I'm a veteran in this space, and I'm telling you, the only thing that matters is the CPM. Everything else is part of the sales pitch. Also, don't let them scare you into executing a contract that you don't believe is fair anymore. Let me uh, also let you know on this. The CPM can be inflated. Like some people say, we offer you $7 CPM, where another company will actually give you a real CPM. That $7 CPM isn't taking out the fact of like the Google's cut, <laughs> their cut... And things like that are factored into that inflated CPM, so that's the raw one. But everybody takes a little bit out, 
and you get like a CPM down here, and it's something like closer to two bucks. Yeah. So um, anyway, that there's your lesson. If you're a young channel and you're looking to be a YouTuber, then uh, you know grab one based on CPM because everything else is just part of their sales pitch, and uh, and that's the deal. It's so it's funny. There's you know contracts flowing around. And other people were telling me this. They they come to the same conclusion that I just did independently. You know, they're like, yeah, you know, it seems like the only thing that ever matters with this contract is how much they pay per video view. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Everything else is just like line noise, the mm -hmm. nerd term. So, wild uh, card. Wild card. Wild card. <laughs>